Hello, everybody, and welcome to this episode of the broadcast. Here is me, the host, with my co-host Zeng, and today we have a guest. Wow. Well, can you introduce yourself? So I am Pet, their older sister. Yeah. So we for sure couldn't get any real guests on the show. So. <laughs> Our big sibling has to say. That's so insulting. (laughs) What? It's insulting to us, not you. You are a real guest. You're a real guest to us. We mentioned, uh, and. (laughs) Your webcam. (laughs) (laughs) Anyways. So. So, Pet is our older sister, and what, what do you do, Pet? What do you do for a living? Okay, uh, like what kind of teacher? A teacher for children. <laughs> <laughs> so like, like, okay, could you um go more into detail? Like you teach art or do you, I don't know, teach freaking, I don't know, yoga? <laughs> like what kind of teacher? Uh, I'm like a teacher for extracurricular classes. So right now I'm teaching all the subjects, but like as a uh, extracurricular class. So like after school classes, that kind of stuff. I teach math, science, language arts, oh, and social studies. Okay. So, okay. I think I understand now. So basically, so like you, you didn't you teach... understand before. <laughs> I think you like you you teach the like, um the special classes kind of after school, like right? Yeah, the mentally unstable. Okay. No, what say? <laughs> what those are special classes, right? Saying I took special classes. I I wasn't exactly. mentally unstable. What? <laughs> okay, never mind. Saying shut up. Yeah, I mean. Okay. For us, we've known a lot longer that Pet was always going to be a teacher anyways. Yeah, we nicknamed her from the start Professor Pet. I think. And now, no, now she's... It. Now, well, it wasn't us, but we picked it up anyways. That was her nickname. And now yeah. she's become... It's real. become synonymous <laughs> with her. It's like her name now. But one day we'll actually... <laughs> yeah. It was fate. <laughs> fate so decided. Basically, you guys... Prophesized over my life, <laughs> and it came true. Yeah, we all. <laughs> well, why could you have made me like something more rich, like like a business owner or something? We only called you Professor Pet because you like to read books and you wore glasses and you were smart. Angel so, likes to read books and she wears glasses. Well, I don't well, know. Angel <laughs> As smart. Good, <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't watch this podcast. <laughs> Saying, what is going yeah, on with dang. you? Guys, you're doing well. Just keep going. <laughs> yeah, but it, it's, it's, it's a three person. <laughs> yes, sir. come on. Please. Please. Shouldn't you know you continue on? On? I'm so Shouldn't scared you... of touching anything. Why do you have a toilet in your room? That's not a toilet. What is that? <laughs> what is that? Oh, that's it my looks like a toilet. That's my laundry basket next to my mirror. Oh, it looks like a toilet. Yes, oh, yeah, yeah, okay. you sleep on the floor. You have a toilet in your room. Hey, what's wrong, what's guys? Next? It's a very old uh, apartment. I can do whatever I want. It's nice, though. Mm. What? Okay. <laughs> Okay, so what are we talking so about? So do you do you use that toilet? You want me to use it now? What? <laughs> no, no God. it's my laundry basket. There's no plumbing anywhere near there. Yeah, there is. You, you dump well, it Pepa's, out. Pepa's toilet doesn't seem to have any plumbing either. He still uses it. <laughs> At least mine's better then. Okay. Mm. So how were you guys' weeks? Let's let's start like small for now. <laughs> oh, uh, good. 
I'll just, I guess. I can start first. I mean, I picked up. Yeah, my, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I picked up a old hobby again, and I started You're, going back uh, into. A bit scratchy. I uh, started going back into uh, music production, so I do the EDM, the boom boom bang bang, uh, drums, the beeps and, and the boops, the beeps and boops and bops, stuff like that. And yeah, okay. it's a lot. Mm-hmm. I mean, I still don't know anything about like chord theory or uh keys i just know like i press buttons together and then hopefully they sound good how long pat how mm. long did it take for you to get good at like learning piano or something like that uh are you asking me yeah i never learned piano what i'm pretty I'm sure pretty sure she taught herself she just taught herself songs right yeah i, I don't think like, it's actually knowing how to play oh yeah I, I just taught myself random songs and it was literally like maybe two songs i don't think that counts as like oh. learning how to play piano okay now yeah. i thought it was like you teaching guitar like back, back in the townhouse oh she i don't know i forgot that song i taught him one song out of the two songs that oh. i made so <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm a teacher. That That's why. Nah. But yeah, I picked up. I'm picking up old hobbies again. Just trying to make use of my time. Okay. Oh, how good and smart of you. Other than that, it's like Genshin, <laughs> and then I don't know what else to do. Ugh, why is everyone so obsessed with this game? Genshin is so good. You should play it. No, I don't uh, take it. I'm not a baby. <laughs> Babies don't play games. Whatever, I'm old. I'm an adult. I'm an adult. I play. No, you're not. <laughs> yeah, I am. I'm living. You are I'm an adult. I have responsibilities. I get stressed. I drink. <laughs> I drink green tea every day. Yes, the uh, things only adults can do. Thing. Yeah, only adults can get stressed and drink green tea. Okay, get your own place there. How about that? Not your place. It is my place. You rent it. Yeah. It's someone else's place. Who else is you living just here? You borrow. Not at all. Spider. Hmm. <laughs> okay. So what have I been doing? So. Oh yeah, your freaking birthday. Oh right. right like last <laughs> yeah, podcast was a few like, a couple day. days before. What What did right. you What did you do? What Hello. Did you do? We ate nice food. We had mukata, which is basically uh, grilled. It's basically shabu with a grill. I'm pretty sure they know what mukata is. We told we said before. <laughs> no, it it's like you grill meat on top, and then there's like soup at the bottom. Yeah. Then it's then basically boil. shabu shabu. It's shabu with a grill. But shabu has grills. Shabu has grill. You ding dong. It's shabu with a grill. But no one goes to Shabu for the grill. Who goes to Shabu for the grill? Frick that. I, I last. No, I, but I mean normally yeah, I don't. You... But there is there are options. It's not like yeah. when people think of Shabu. I don't know why it's different then. Mukata it's is a different method of cooking the stuff. Like in Mukata, you just put everything in. But with Shabu Shabu, you have to like swish the meat in the boiling water and it's really thin so it like cooks really fast so you just swish 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 and it's done and then you eat it yeah oh. okay i guess mogata is more slow cook i guess not slow but like slower what? you, you have to wait for it to cook which do you prefer no. um, mogata. yeah mogata is just it's just i don't know it's just something about cooking the meat on the thing also boiling and keep putting ingredients in. I mean, it's the same thing with shabu, but I don't know. Mukata, I feel like we've just been with it longer. It's just yeah, stuck with us. Yeah, I guess well. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Did you drink? No, I mean, I drank, like, tea. Wow. Wow. Okay. <laughs> you, you are not a dog. You, you think <laughs> I can drink here? Who Who's going to drink with me if i'm gonna drink i need well, to be drinking with somebody is right an alcoholic so you can just drink with him <laughs> no not him <laughs> not i don't think him. he's even there half the time he oh, is okay, okay he's, 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 he is 
Okay. So, yeah. Yeah. My birthday was what a few days ago. I don't really remember it. I completely forgot. How old are you? I am nineteen now. Yeah. Disgusting. Yes. I don't want to be nice. Nice. Yeah, I know. I'm not nineteen. <laughs> I'm still a kid. Uh, <laughs> I'm I'm twelve. I don't know how I got here. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I think 19 is like a weird age because you're not 20 yet, so people still kind of think like, oh, you're a teenager, but you're uh, like almost 22, so it's like you're stuck in between being a teenager and being like an adult. Oh. Yeah, I always thought I was a teenager. Well, I mean, how I felt like, ooh, I didn't like when I was 19. I feel like if, even if I'm 20, I'm going to still feel like a teenager. I think I'm always going to feel like a teenager. Well, I still feel like a teenager. No, you're not. I don't know, man. I really don't know. You guys are still babies, so... Okay, I'm not baby. Hmm. What, what is, you, like... What, you want? what is, like, the real adult age? Like, your opinion of, like, a real adult, like, age, well, kind of? What I've heard from Angel uh, and Pat is that when I turned... 18 is oh you're not an adult yet you have to turn 19 i turn 19 and oh it's 20 now <laughs> and then i turn 20 i'm probably gonna be like oh you have to be 25 to be mature or something uh i mean i don't think there's any set age i mean legally but just because just because you're younger than me i will always think that you're a baby mm. i think at least like the overall legal age to be an adult where you can get like everything that Thailand has to offer probably like 20. Like that's when you can start what is it? What? So getting things. drafted into the military? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It qualifies you as an adult or something. And it was probably the scariest day of my life. Yes, mine too saying. Huh. Now let's move on. <laughs> what? How can that be your scariest day of your life? Same. Me and Tina were sitting like standing on the side, just freaking like losing our brains. I was silent, completely like about to break. Tina's also freaking like. Imagine me by myself, and I don't know what I'm doing. I'm exactly. S- we're getting scared just watching. Say, <laughs> it's really horrible, honestly. Like I, like watching it on the side. It's like a different experience. People. Like, who got the red card or freaking, like, crying. And then just the freaking crowd is watching. They're, like, cheering because that means, like, one of, like, that's another one that, you know, that doesn't have to, that has to go. So that's one less red card for the rest of them. Yeah. Freaking. That's really, weird. It's really, yeah, it is really weird uh, seeing that. It's, like. Someone's freaking like I don't know, crying over because he, he like they don't want the red card obviously, and then they pick it, and then the crowd freaking cheers. Just like, gee, it's kind of messed up. Yeah, that's messed up. No, I'm. Well, I mean, I, it was. It's kind of like them trying to encourage that person when they join, but it's more like uh, throwing it in their face, saying, "Oh yeah, welcome to the army." Woo-hoo, yay. That's how I feel at least. No, uh, no, it's no, no. The crowd is like the crowd are cheering because that's one less red card for the their family member or friend that has to go pick another card. You know, pick the card. Wow. That's why they're okay, cheering. Yeah, I'm completely wrong. Never mind. <laughs> well, that's life. Yeah. Oh well. What's the scary? Now moving on. What's the scariest day of your life, Pat? Uh, I don't think I've ever had a day where I've been like that scared. What? Um, like I mean, I don't, I don't think so. I don't think I've had. Oh well, like maybe the day that I almost drowned. But like other than that, I don't think I've experienced that much fear over something. Oh, okay. When was that? When you're like when we're at the pool and then we the beach probably. No, no that we was were a different at story. the beach. Huh? 
Well, the one where you went to save Tita and probably you went almost to save died. Tita. <laughs> so basically, we were at in the water at this at the beach, and then uh, so we noticed that the sand went like suddenly just dipped out, like it was like a normal level, and then it just went really deep. And you <laughs> called me over, saying called me over, and was like. Look at this! This is so funny. Like, look at how the sand goes down. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> the I was like, sand oh, bank. That's, that's cool. But like, we didn't realize that the sand was literally being dragged out because the current was so strong. So that's and then we were like at that point where the current was so strong, we couldn't swim back. So then we almost drowned. And that, I think, was the scariest day of my life. But since then, I don't think I've had, like, that much terror over any event. Oh. Hmm. Okay. So I mean, like, you... I mean, good. Uh, yeah. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean, probably? It's good. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah, but you ran out of... Now you have no freaking scary stories. Well, you don't have a scariest day of your life. No, you just said. You were scared yeah, for me. <laughs> when I won. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's good. That's good, though. That means we haven't had any, like... Yeah, I don't think we had any... Really scary moments. Anything that's, like, traumatizing or... Stuff out. Uh, yes, we have. <laughs> Not traumatizing in that way. Like, getting PTSD or something. You know, I mean, like... It triggers you to some extent where you like go into shock. Well, I don't think I have PTSD from from the drowning thing. Yeah, no. I don't think I have. We have PTSD from anything. Actually, Pat. So. Yeah, not not that bad. You didn't. You're. You didn't. Wait, are you scared of deep water? Well, I am still a little bit, but it doesn't make me like go into shock or anything like i can still i went snorkeling like a few oh, yeah, years ago fun. and i went to the yeah and i went to the beach recently and like i was swimming in deep water like i'm fine mm. what are we scared of though i'm trying to think i for me failure scared. that's one uh i think that's something everyone is scared of Instead of making it. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh! Yeah. Speaking of making it, Pat, I, when you said uh, on uh, Instagram you want, you showed off your singing. My what? You, you showed off your singing. I, I would think for the first time. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, are you gonna. At least on social mm-hmm. media. Are you going to perform soon in case like anything opens? Yeah, I will. Oh. I was already planning to. There was an event that like was gonna be open mic and invite people to like perform mm-hmm. and I was going to and then everything shut down. Hmm. So So wait, what is open mic? Is it like a, any do you have to actually be good or is it kind of like No, you anyone, don't have to be good. So who anyone who wants to, even if they're dog shit at singing they can go up and do their thing yeah and they don't have to sing either you could like recite a poem or do like spoken word which is basically like a poem but you make it all up yourself in your head at that moment um Uh, yeah so you don't have to sing you just have to do some kind yeah to make some kind of noise with your mouth yeah some kind of vocal performance I don't think it's kind just of sounds for your mouth. <laughs> it is. What, what, what if you're someone, like, I don't know, beatboxing up, or something? Someone sets up to the stage and go, just gargles water in your mouth, like singing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pigeon. I'm going to impersonate a pigeon, everyone. And then. <laughs> well, be my I mean, guest for next time. It, it's yeah. just not going to be a good performance. <laughs> Well, I mean, uh, it's original. <laughs> I don't think it is. It's just stupid. <laughs> Are you wearing your birthday shirt? Yes, 
I am because I just noticed what is cross yeah, nice, right? Yeah, I know. Oh. I kind of want it. Is it like <laughs> oversized? Yeah, look, look, see how big the sleeve is. Oh, wait, you can't really see. Oh, it's well, yeah, fine. it's oversized. And it's a very thin material. That's why I'm wearing it because. Yeah, I was kind of shocked because <laughs> normally you wear freaking bas- uh soccer practice jerseys like almost every episode. <laughs> and now you're wearing freaking oversized. Yeah. <sighs> oh. I got this one. I don't know, man. I just. Okay. I Wait, got this one see. for. It's like a. Uh, it's like a safari. It's kind of like a dad shirt. But I got it uh, when I went with Angel to the train market like a few days ago. And I got it for like 20 baht, which is nice. Oh. Okay. So okay. It looks like you're going to go golfing with a bunch of other white guys. Yeah, that's fine. Pretty much whitewashed inside anyways. Mm. Ew. Okay. No, I mean, like... Do we know anything about Thai culture? Not really. I'm more... We know yeah, we some do. things. We know that Thais really like to party over anything. <laughs> so anything? Anything? They love partying. <laughs> they freaking love you partying. You hate partying? Do you remember Christmas saying? <laughs> yeah, say you find threw a penis on the ceiling. It wasn't okay, Hassan, fun. You're gonna tell Did you? Story. You're gonna need to give some context. <laughs> we'll oh it yeah, I guess it doesn't. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> oh frick! <laughs> don't don't, don't you wanna tell end. the story from what? your POV. Mm. As the one who threw the dick on the ceiling. Well, I don't remember. I was really drunk. No, you do remember. That is the one night that has now earned Sang the nickname of Drunk Uncle. Sang will be the drunk uncle of the family. No, he's just lightweight. Yeah, he's gonna be the drunk <laughs> uncle. Yeah. Me too, don't squishy. I'll call him the drunk uncle now. Guys, you just never really? drank. You just never drank, so how would you know? I like, was drinking. No, I, I mean, okay, wine. let's, like, Kata, for example. How do you know that he doesn't get more he's he's not more lightweight than me right oh true well we're just gonna have to test it out <laughs> we're just have to see in the future and also i've been at office party before that so i was already drunk and then i started drinking even more again okay exactly you drunk uncle i know i don't really why does it have to be an uncle i don't know <laughs> The uncles are bad for us, I guess. It's the it's the stereotype, I guess. Okay. No, uncles. Did you say stereotypes for uncles? It's probably like they like touch kids or something. No, it's the drunk Ew. uncle. That's, yeah, that's the stereotype. like the weird uncle. It's the drunk. No, it's the drunk uncle. I swear, it's that's the stereotype for it's uncles. It's drunk, creepy uncle. There. See, that's why I don't want to associate with that because it brings both. I'm not drunk or creepy. Okay, maybe drunk. Well, when I have when I have kids, then you guys are gonna have to choose. Oh, I'm gonna be weird. I'm gonna be really gonna weird. Be... I'm always gonna... <laughs> I'll be. The It'll be so funny, uncle. like passing in, in innuendos and just like. Just well, like... I think I use more innuendo than you guys. Probably. So you're gonna have to step up your game because my kid's gonna be pretty numb I don't think... to the jokes. We'll just explain what? them to him. Oh, uh, <laughs> what? Um, what is that? What? What? Innuendo? What? What? You don't know what innuendo is? Did no. you even go to school? You know? No, I I didn't. <laughs> I don't know the word what it means, but I just know like sexual in- innuendos. It's like a word that. Uh, it's like a saying that means something, but doesn't actually mean it. Oh. Like, for example, like, if you're, like, you say, like, oh, I'm beating the horse. You're not actually beating a horse. Uh. You're masturbating. Oh, uh, not beating. That's the, that beating word is, the like, meat. repeating something. 
like a, a, an old idea. Okay. So it's like saying something, but that's not the actual meaning, basically. Oh. Ah, okay. There's a different meaning to it. Okay. You get it? Uh, yes, I understand. Now, see, this is why I I need I need more vocabulary. Vocabulary. Yes. Well, go find some then, stupid. Ow, I can't just... Yeah, I thought. Don't you have a dictionary? <laughs> yeah, don't you read books? I can't school. No, I don't read books. <laughs> See, this is why I take so long to script my videos, because I don't have enough vocabulary in me. At least you even script your videos. Well, is that a low-key diss on me, Pat? Yes. <laughs> hey. What's that supposed to mean? We have different, we have different genres. This is why... This is why whenever you tell stories on this podcast, like a lot of them are like not exactly accurate because you didn't think about the story before you told it. So your memory is all like jumbled up and then I'm watching it as your well, older sibling that's... being like, that's not what happened. Or well, that's I feel like that's happened. like that. I feel like that's like the charm of a podcast that we're just talking and then I don't know, even if we get some things wrong, it's still like entertaining. Well, yeah, that, especially to the okay. p- it will help to read up on like whatever we're talking about, especially if it's like important or we're gonna get exposed for it later. But yeah, but I feel like it's funner just to go into it like without really knowing anything and just say what you want. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's funner that way. Otherwise, it's I don't know, gets too factual. Then I know nobody's stupid. Everyone's a genius and knows everything. And. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Cause, Wait, uh, Pat. Do you have any other gripes with this? We need uh, just. What do you mean gripes? I don't know. Anything else that we can improve on, just in case. I mean, we are like how many episodes in seven? Um, Katara needs to get a better background that's not moving all the time. <laughs> hey, it's it's <laughs> animated background. It's professional. No, it's just a cur- <laughs> it's just not even a curtain. That's mom's sarong that she like uses that's no, to that's not mom. It's not mom. Wrap- no, no, yes, it no, it's not. It's, it's, not, no, it's, it's not, not the same. No, it's not. I've seen mom wear that. Well, she wore pro- sure. she probably, probably wore she it as a sarong, but it's not like <laughs> she probably sarong would, material. She probably freaking wore anything. Probably wore a bed sheet before. I actually pretty yeah, sure yeah. When it rise. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, it's just kind of distracting sometimes because it's like blowing around. Hmm. But yeah, that's it. Oh yeah, we're in the clear. Woo! Fine. <laughs> well, I'll just, I don't know, tape my curtain to the wall, I guess. No, it's fine. I mean, it's fine. It's not like a big problem, yeah. but like maybe in the future. I mean, you could switch out what's, <laughs> what's on that desk right now, though. You can take those out. No, this, this no, ad, this cute. is good, saying This is, this ma- this makes my background way better <laughs> than yours. Look, your, your background is a mess. What's, what's wrong with Big mess. Yeah, Sang's background Where's Sang's the background decor? Where's the decor? The... Yeah, yeah, let's see this. I have, like, nice decor. Things well, that I, I like. I decor. I mean, I mean, it still looks better than Sang's background. My background yeah, changes it's not every. Super cluttered. Yeah, my background changes every single time we do an episode. Like your background, we can see everything in the back. With Pet's background, it's just a curtain and a fridge, and that's it. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, how many cups are on my fridge? I see. I can't really see, but I know oh, there's something. I can't something. see from <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Blue. Well, there's like this messy blue thing just thrown on the top of your closet. Those are my club covers. Yeah, there's a bag. There's an open rice cooker. Who would leave their rice cooker open? I just ate. Yeah, saying what blasphemy. <laughs> now I'm just looking. Oh, Pet has it closed. No mind. I'm just looking at her boiler. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's, that's a boiler. <laughs> Why? It's just fine. Uh, fine. If you want, I'll just put giant 
tarp and call it a background, huh? Right, guys? Yeah, exactly. I mean, if you watch like other people's podcasts, they keep it pretty like clean and not. Well, you know, I, we're not other people. We're and special. It's the same. We are special podcasts. <laughs> And it, it doesn't even have to be clean. It just has to be out of sight. Yeah, just like, and uh, and the same, like, regular. Okay, yeah. guys. Thanks for the input. <laughs> I thought you had enough gripes already. <laughs> and there you come. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're the one who asked for gripes. What is a gripe? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Complaints. It's, you can kind of understand from the context. Okay. See, this is see. I need. I don't know. I just need to read a dictionary or something. Just study it. Bah. Bah. Just read books. Read books hmm. and keep talking. That's it. Because sometimes when I'm like trying to make a video like on an anime, I I I know what I want to say, but I also don't know what I want to say. Like maybe I feel something about this anime, but I don't know how to put it into words. Read books. Or just don't make the video. Seems easier to me. Nah, I need. <laughs> oh yeah, Pet's going to also start a YouTube channel. We're all going to be a giant We're gonna be YouTube, YouTube conglomerate. Well, I kind of tried to make us all do a YouTube channel. Yeah, we tried. Kind of we did. Failed. We tried, but it, I don't know. It's... It wasn't interesting, and it was kind of, like, really stiff. Like, it wasn't I think natural. It was just, like, us maybe trying to copy someone like Ryan Higa, and then... What? I wasn't even thinking of Ryan Higa when it came up with the idea. Oh, but I don't know. It's very that style. <laughs> I don't really know, but it's kind of weird. No, because, like, I'm, I would say for the first few videos, they are very uh, boring. For sure, just like yeah, they're very. Stiff. The, you what are you, you notice that they're like about, put like? together, like they're joined together. They're not kind of, we're not. We weren't like a group. We we're just individual videos uh, combined into one. Yeah, kind of like that. But we're all also. Oh, in you mean the hustle places. videos? Oh, I was thinking of something else. What? What were you thinking? Of? <laughs> I was thinking of the the homeschool videos we would make. Oh no, and those were just for fun. Those were not for like any. I thought I thought we were talking about that. Okay, see. yeah, yeah. The hustle yeah. channel was just basically um, not good. I think it was an interesting idea, but ultimately just didn't work. So- yeah. So yeah, let's never talk about it ever. It's fine. <laughs> we don't have to do like group videos. We don't just do like you no, know, like see each other every now yeah, and then, just... do something like that. But yeah. But yeah, yeah. do collabs. Have your own channel, but like collaborate. <laughs> like what I do okay. with, like what I do with saying all the time. I mean, basically. Oh, you mean because you are the only two who have YouTube channels. I mean, I tried to get Tito and, and Squishy to also do it. Mm-hmm. Hey, but you're yeah, coming too, Pat. Yeah, Pat, we uh, could collaborate. My, my, like, idea for a YouTube channel is not at all the same as what you guys are doing. Like, Oh, not like... You guys... <laughs> Yeah, like, not, like, I don't want to talk. Like, I don't want to, like, speak on it. I just want to, like, film myself doing things. And that's oh, I've heard, like, from the, like, other video call we had with everyone. Something, like, silent Korean. I have no idea what that means. Like, kind of, <laughs> you know, oh, shh. You know, kind of, like, Not necessarily um, Korean, but, yeah. Just, like, like home vlogs. Home vlog. Like, just like, like aesthetic, pleasing to the eye. Yeah, it's like aesthetic. It's calming. It's just literally just filming people doing routines. Like some people, like they work at a cafe, so they just film themselves just making the snacks and stuff. Or other mm. people like are moms, so they film themselves like making food at home or like cleaning their house and stuff. And it's just very calming to watch, and I like to watch them. So oh. I thought of doing it, except 
for me, I'm going to make it teacher themed because I'm a teacher. So like just stuff that I make for my students or like kind of different activities I'm planning, just film that instead because that's my life. Oh. I already started doing it with my, I did an Instagram where like I posted short videos of it, but it's not like aesthetically calm and it's more like just like TikTok style videos, oh. but I want to start making a YouTube channel with this calming theme. Oh. Well, okay. Jay, uh, just be careful yeah. not to record children because that's just gonna. Uh, yeah. Yeah, saying I know my job. Huh? I never. No, I no, mean, I mean not like. Job. No, YouTube is very um, strict when it comes to children. No, what I'm saying is, as a teacher, I have I'm not allowed to record children ever. Ah, oh, that's stupid. Or post anything about. No, that's that's, that's good. My, What's it saying? That's my job. <laughs> Guys, she's supposed to show her teaching. She's not teaching. I'm not going to. I'm not going to record teaching. Just the activities that I'm planning. You know what she. Like the day before, I don't know, she made some little stars or whatever. And then, like, I don't know, freaking put them on the wall or something like that, right? Yeah, just stuff like that. Like decorating the classroom. Or, like, I just made these recently. These These are bottle shakers. So you use them for like songs and stuff and you like shake it because it makes noise. I don't know if you can hear that. But yeah, so like it took time for me to like find the bottles and dry them and then like dye the rice and stuff. I'm just going to film that process, not the actual using it with the kids because I can't film kids. So mm. uh, yeah. I knew they were mentally unstable. Yep. <laughs> no, it's just normal. <laughs> Anywhere you work, you you're not allowed to like. For the rice shaker. Yeah. Yeah, safety of children, whatnot. Well, that's why I'm never gonna record like the children at home. Not just yeah, because. Yeah. I mean, it's just because there's just weird people on the internet. And I just want. They, I just want them to have privacy. That's it. I mean, yeah. unless they want to be in videos, then that's fine. But hmm. no. Well, I watched a podcast with. Do you know D'Angelo? Yeah. I was watching one of his podcasts, and he was he was uh, talking about this YouTube fam- family channel where the parents were gonna adopt a kid from Thailand. Oh yeah, we talked about it on. Yeah, on we talked about podcast. it. Yeah, we oh, we, we heard the okay, yeah we heard the story that. already. And I like D'Angelo, yeah, by the way. Late. Yeah, I like him too. That's why I was I just, watching. I do I not know who he is. He's like a well, commentary channel. It. Yeah. Yeah, but it's not like annoying commentary. I mean, his voice is kind it's of like, annoying. To be fair, but it's not a bit condescending. I think it's very calming. It's kind of it's my mm. opinion. I still watch it, but yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, okay. the story about the. Thai kid, like we already talked about how it's kind of stupid. It's, you probably just use the kid. You want to use the kid uh, for social media for sure, not just because they want it. Or clout. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So we so, do not yeah. like that. Thailand, we do not condone that behavior. They, we can keep our kid. Thank you very much. Yeah, just keep kids out of social media and YouTube in general. Yeah. I mean, yeah. just don't use your children in videos. That's it. Like, if I'm sure you want to, like, share your story, like, share, like, uh, family videos of your kids whenever you, like, have them or something. But then to the extent mm-hmm. of where, like, you're forcing your kids to act and then, like, play up these, like, skits for money. And the money's not even going to the kids. It's mostly going back to the parents. Mm-hmm. But the kids will be fine. Like, for sure. Like that girl who got really famous. I forgot what her name was. Little Tay. I have um, no idea what happened to her. Oh, she just kind of vanished because yeah, she, she completely was disappeared. basically being used. Yeah, by her brother. Stupid. And her mom, both of them. Brother, right? Yeah, brother and mom, yeah. That story was like a few, like a couple years ago. Just pretty much abusing the poor little girl 
Sure, she. Uh, I've heard that they're gonna come back. Actually, so we'll see what happens about that. Uh, yeah, no, it's like you know, like a like content. a revamp, uh, a new take on the character or something. I don't know how people would could like stoop so low, honestly. Uh, it's really some, <laughs> some of the stuff that people do on the internet, I was like, "How are you doing this <laughs> without?" Like I don't know. They just want to get out of whatever they were in before. I I can see like why they would want to. They don't want to do what they did previously, and then people are uh, validating that so much that they keep going with it until it gets out there. It gets out of hand with them. And it's more like the viewers are controlling what they want to see from them. And that's how it can get so out of control. And then you can get like stories about mental breakdowns and uh, like how people are just going crazy and then burn out with creators. And that's why people have quit before. It's pretty much just like it comes to a point where the people who are watching them controls what they do and they can't handle it anymore. Mm. Mm. That's why I also, like, when I want to start a YouTube channel, I don't want to show my face. Or, like, like my true identity or anything. Uh, like, not that I'm not that I'm expecting to be famous, but, like, if I don't, I just don't want people to know who I really am because, like, it can get out of hand, mm -hmm. like, easily. Like, people can, like, insult you and stuff or... Yeah, I don't know. It's just, I feel like it's safer. For me, like, it's going to happen if you want to start YouTube. You kind of have to take it on the chin. But you're you're okay with us, like, filming you for this, right? Because this is going to be Yeah, amazing. I'm okay for that. But I mean, like, for my own, like, when, like if I, like, do start my own, I, it's just I'm making a choice not to show my face or indicate, like, who I am or where I work and stuff like that. And uh, um, yeah, and YouTube is mostly guys, so we're weird as frick as well. <laughs> what? We're, YouTube's also just a bunch of desperate guys on YouTube. So they see a girl, they go crazy. There's desperate guys everywhere. I don't know, guys. I mean, yeah, but internet. Yeah. Did you guys watch that documentary, Don't Fuck With Cats? Yes, we yeah. do. Oh, that was interesting. I just watched it recently. Oh. Yeah. Internet can be a good place. Like, some stories can come out. It can I mean, be, it but I kind of found the detective girl very annoying. I didn't think she was annoying. I think I it's think just how they annoying. portrayed her on the series. Mm. Maybe, I don't know. But in any case, the the guy was caught, so that's good. Poor yeah. cats and that guy though. Yeah, be careful. Who <laughs> who do you date? Yeah. Who do you what? Who you be date? careful who you uh look at and date. Yeah, especially like especially if you like meet people online, like you don't know who they are yeah so wait if you're gonna have a date like online would you be comfortable at night then or like would you prefer no. like in a public space maybe like afternoon getting like a uh, coffee or something mm, no no i wouldn't be comfortable either way i think i would have you ever yeah because you're because you're a guy what what the girl can still be crazy. Yeah, but I mean, there's more stories of like girls being, you know, uh. in trouble than guys are. And I've been in situations where it's been like, where I've been creeped out by like guys, like who, like I'm not on a date with, but they've been like around, and it's just happened too many times for me to feel like entirely safe meeting a stranger. Ah, uh. okay. Yeah, that's fine. I, I can't really relate because I've never been on a date. Hey! Yeah, <laughs> whose fault is that? Hey, you, 
uh, you can have a crazy girlfriend if phone. you have no girlfriend. <laughs> Spark it off. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not like you can meet anyone now, anyway. I I think we could, but I'm too out of my comfort zone just to go like approach people. Uh, no one just cold approaches people anymore. I think. I know, but like out of the blue. I have no idea. I have no idea. I'm a guy who. I would think that would be an advantage, though, if it's like so uncommon. Uh, or just I don't think so. I think they'd be weirded out. Yeah, exactly. Unless you're like super hot. Like, I mean, I think even then it would be a bit weird. It'll like, be... what if a super hot girl came up to you and was like, hey, you want to go out with me? Like, wouldn't you be a little bit like, but I don't know you? And Yeah. What if it's like, just and ask what... you for your number, not freaking go out? But I, I don't see how it's weird. It's what... been, I thought it was like normal for people to Who asked for go and numbers? like they see no, someone but... and then like, just like strike a little chat and then they like it then i don't know i don't, I don't see why you have to shun behavior like I think try to talk more, to strangers i think it's more you just like you happen to work in the same place or something you have to be yeah in some like kind of activity with them, each you know? other i would say that no like that, well i mean if, let's say not work because work would be Okay, maybe not like work, but... more complicated than that, and also maybe if she, like, I don't know, you go to a class or something, something like that. Yeah, some common thing you share, and then like you get to know each other that way. Like I don't think it really happens where you're like at a bar and then a stranger comes up to you and it's like, hey, like I mean maybe that, that of course that does still happen, but just not as much as you. So you'll be weirded out if a guy goes up and tries to talk to you. Uh, guys do that to me all the time. I wouldn't be weirded out. I would be flattered, but no. Well, guitar, <laughs> I'm pretty sure you get I'm guys flattered. talking to you no. all the time anyways. Yeah, guitar. It's, I, it's out of my control, okay? Uh, oh, boo, oh, poor guitar. <laughs> when when I was in university, uh, there's like this platform for students and teachers to communicate, and students can also message other students. So one time, uh, I got a message from this random student, and uh, he was like, "Like, hey," <laughs> and <laughs> I was like, "Hello, can I help you?" Uh, no, I was like, hello, do I know you? And he said, no, but you... <laughs> you could. You can get to yeah. know me. Yeah, you could, basically. And I was just like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> like, so what did you say? I didn't respond because it was such a stupid thing. And then I was... And I didn't know who this person was. I just knew it was another mm. student. So I just didn't reply. That, that's why I think, like, just... People just coming up to you out of the blue is just kind of weird and you don't really like yeah enjoy it okay guys now it i is have weird, no chance <laughs> but Sage is trying to be a positive little bubble like he is yeah the guys time. there's good in people all people yeah, but most of the time, if some stranger messages you, messages you, it raises those red flags. It's either gonna be they're into you, or I don't know, they have something for you to do, which is usually the latter. <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> something for you to do that could be like doing them. Like what? <laughs> like hey, can you like? I don't know. Maybe I don't know. Rights? They want to commission you for an art or something. So like you know, something like that. Oh, okay. oh so bad. It's either that, or they're into you, and they're just trying to message you, you know, slide in those DMs. And it's usually that. <laughs> Has anyone slid into your DMs recently, Katar? <laughs> Not recently. Um, oh, how sad for you. No. What do you mean you feel bad for me? 
<laughs> it's good. There's I don't no photos that. for Katah. That's why he needs to build photography. There be no photos. Um, uh, you mean like on Instagram? Yeah. Or something? Oh. Nah, I don't. I don't really care about Instagram. Yeah, I don't really care about posting photos of myself. Honestly, not that much. Because you don't have good photos of yourself to post. Hmm. Maybe. I don't know. I just I just do it now and then, just like I don't know, keep some kind of activity on. So kind of, I'm pretty I sure it's more I don't like care about it. Yeah. Wait, did you ask me a question? I wasn't paying attention. Uh, no. no, no, no. Okay, good. <laughs> what were you gonna say? Me? No, Nothing. saying saying was gonna say something. Oh, no, saying? I think it's more Come like on, host. I think it was more like Tita just like invited you and you just went reluctantly went along. You know, you probably secretly uh, want to do it. No, I told her I wanted to do that one. To do what? The, oh, like the, the last one I did. Tita? The last what? Nah, his last uh, photo shoot that he did. Tita will always be my photographer. Because yeah. I try asking Squishy, I try asking Kata. We it, suck. They do we not really want to suck. be there. It's no, just not no, same, comfortable same. for me. And then Tita's like more comfortable. She could, like, I can Direct. sort of explain what I want. And then she goes along with it. Mm-hmm. They're just there. Phone. Okay, done. Looks good <laughs> to me. It's, it's not my fault. I'm not good at photography, okay? You can yeah, try. You. You, this is not my you thing. make art you make art you should know what looks I like make art but and that doesn't pleasing. mean I know photography it should <laughs> no I don't think so well you know poses just, no I don't think... I suck at poses nah Katal sucks at poses I'm really unnatural <laughs> I'm trying to help like, him. Uh, you know, no, I'm saying like, seriously, I'm really unnatural. I, there's like 200 photos. I picked four. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. did I. It's like I'm really, really unnatural. I'm really awkward it's, when it comes it's, to posing. Yeah, but you just have to kind of wing it and then try everything. All of your photos are going to be really bad for sure. And then you just pick out the yeah. ones you like. That's why there's only a few photos per every like session that you have. No, you post on like mm. being Facebook or the internet. I'll tell you a story. Okay. So Add with story time again. When, yeah. So when I first went to uni, like I obviously like hadn't had many friends before then, so I didn't have people yeah. to take photos for me. So I wasn't used to like having people take photos of me, and I didn't know how to like look good in photos. Then I made friends with a bunch of girls so really girly (laughs) girls who would take photos all the time so eventually like i learned like after like so many times of doing it i learned how to look decent in photos and also like yeah more comfortable on the camera Hmm. so you probably are just a bit awkward because you don't do it enough that's all it's like practicing a skill yeah well yeah of course that part i know I just know, like, I'm not, I haven't been on camera much, so, like, I don't know what looks good. I'm just kind of there, like, okay, uh, try. <laughs> Trying to look good, but yeah. failing. I, I feel like that just goes for everything. Yeah, but don't be afraid to <laughs> fail. You're going to fail. I'm not afraid to yeah. fail. I just don't care enough. <laughs> you don't care enough to fail, then? I don't then. care enough to, no, I don't care enough to get better at taking photos no. well you should Take sad big potential here yeah, you know, you... nah. nah shut up why are you always demean yourself i'm happy with my videos you know no i don't have to be you know, i don't have to, have to have any photos i don't need you're gonna make funny videos to, to and be, be pretty boy on instagram I don't want to be pretty boy on Instagram. <laughs> I, okay. just, I just want to be boy on Instagram. Oh, freaking just says boohoo or... 
<laughs> boo boo. <What? laughs> yeah, what else? What's wrong with just like not just not? I don't know. Just, just not my thing. Boo boo. Not my thing. Oh, I thought you said that's how you think. <laughs> oh. <laughs> But how long has it been now? Hmm? How long has uh, it been? It's been one hour exactly. Oh, damn. Okay, bye. What? We're not finished. What? <laughs> Ted, you're uh, here. Well, I don't know. So how long is it usually? Well, it could go on for. Um, I think the longest time oh, we've wow. done it was two hours. It's like, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, we're not going to yeah. do it that long. <laughs> but still, we, sh- we mean, can just listen to more of Pet's college stories because none of us went to college. None of us have interesting stories, but Pet does. I... Yeah, I remember. I no. I used I used to like come back for holidays and like tell some stories, and you guys would be like, "Oh, <laughs> wow!" Yeah. I feel like I feel like college is just like a treasure trove for stories. Honestly, yeah. I mean, real. Oh wait, like, Pat! Life is also. You did have a scary moment. Huh? The freaking guy oh, that right. snuck up. The guy that shot a gun into your university. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, we forgot about. <laughs> <laughs> We're just like, oh yeah, oh yeah. There was a shooter in my school. Yeah, you can uh, elaborate on I that. Mean, yeah, I, get, I don't. I wasn't like scared for my life. <laughs> <laughs> but I was really scared. I mean, if he had been standing directly in front of me with a gun, then yeah, but he was like, yeah. All right, so I have to tell a story yeah, now. Yeah, sure. Yes. Yeah, okay. I didn't even remember. <laughs> no, because it just it just came up. Yeah, okay. So anyway, uh it was like my senior year, I think. Yeah. And then So it was late at night. It was around maybe 11. And then I heard like screaming outside. And my and my room is like there's a balcony and it faces the back of the dorm building. So I like went out to my balcony to see what's going on. And I saw this guy in like, like a blue like football shirt, not necessarily football, just like a sports shirt and Mm. like shorts. And he had like some kind of thing over his head, like a bag it looked like a paper bag with like holes cut out of it Uh. and then my dean was like running behind him with a broom and (laughs) she was like screaming like quick quick like he's getting away so and then the and then like he went there's like a forest behind the dorm so he like there was this like popping sound and then i saw like orange sparks shoot out and then he like ran into the forest and then the dean like stopped at the edge and then like she didn't go any further and then i kept watching and then the security guards came and she there seemed like really stressed out and i was just wondering what's going on and then like i, I kept watching and then like a police car like drove up and there were like a bunch there were like two police cars and then they came out they were talking and they were like shining their flashlights into the forest and all the whole time i was on like a group chat with like my friend a different friends i was like what's going on and there's like there's there's like a shooter in the school like the guy had a gun and then like as time kept going on people just kept like coming with more information so it was like they yeah this is actually a really long story do you want me to tell it tell mm-hmm. the whole story yeah maybe short it down a bit just like there was oh, a guy okay. there, and then uh, you had to lock up or something. Yeah, so I went to my friend's room down the hall, and like we <laughs> locked ourselves in the room and put furniture up against it, and like got out at night. <laughs> I mean, because like we didn't know, like what if the guy came back, you yeah. know, like and and yeah, there's no security. So and then the next. Yeah, another funny thing is I told my friend who lived in another dorm, I was like, like, hey, like, there's a shooter in the school, like, like, lock your doors. And he's like, what? Okay. And I was like, D- you didn't know? And he's like, no, I was playing computer games. 
<laughs> He's probably playing like FPS. And then, yeah, and then he, apparently all he did was get up, lock his door, and then go back to <laughs> playing games. Yeah, okay, anyway, so then the next day, uh, we heard more about what happened. So, like, apparently, like, a few days before that on the CCTV, like, one of, they saw one of the cameras in the, in the hallway, like, on the second floor was blocked. Like, someone had thrown a cloth over it. Hmm. So the maids just thought, like, oh, maybe, I don't know, someone just displaced the cloth. So they took it off. And then someone also reported, like, uh, this is before the actual, like, shooting event. Someone also reported, like, seeing a guy, like, walking around in the dorm hallways uh-huh. and yeah but they didn't really investigate further than that and then that night like some girls like were heard screaming like in the second floor like hallway and so like the dean went up to check like and apparently like they had been like cleaning the rooms or something and then they found the guy like hiding in the room and then he like he was hiding under a bed, and when they came in, he, like, jumped out and jumped, like, off the balcony. The um, second floor is not that high up, so he wouldn't have, like, injured himself or anything. Yeah. Yeah, so that's, like, the screaming I heard, and then, like, when I came out. Mm. And, yeah, apparently he had a gun and a knife. Then he, like, left the knife behind, but he still had the gun. Ah. Uh. And that room was, like, empty because no one was living in that room. So, yeah. Okay. There was, he wasn't, like, related to any of the college students there or anything, right? Uh, I don't know. They never really gave us any more information after that. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> what are we supposed to say? Congratulations! Uh, well, yeah, I'm going to say it's fine. I remember like we were on we were on call with you, and then I think until yeah. like three a.m. or something. Yeah, it was it was scary at the time because like I mean I mean if of he course was, <laughs> like that okay. yeah I I mean if he was there right like how did he know that room was empty like and why would did he choose this dorm? And, like, why did he have so many weapons? You know, it could have been, like, maybe he was the ex of one of the girls who lived in this dorm or something. Or, Hmm. like, you don't know. But it was, like, what if they hadn't found him? I don't know. It was was pretty scary. But at least, but because I was not in any, like, direct danger, I think I kind of just (laughs) forgot about it. Uh. Yeah. yeah, it's just like one of those stories where we'll forget about things. Yeah, just that one of those stories where it could be like a real, like school shooter thing, which is like really scary. Yeah, it's like it's like oh yeah, that did happen, but then you kind of just forget about it after a while. Well, I think if he'd actually shot someone, then I wouldn't have forgot about it. But no one was actually injured, so hmm. yeah, thank God no one was yeah. injured. Yeah. Do you want to hear any more college stories? Uh, I, f- I feel like we should bring up a story somehow. <laughs> Search our yeah. catalog. Ah, uh, stories. You have, you have scary what stories. stories do I? Not really. I don't think I have any scary stories. Oh yeah, when we went fishing. There you go. We had a giant net. Sprawled maybe like mm-hmm. halfway across the span of the river that we live next to. And then we caught something. It was a giant snakehead. It wasn't that scary. But remember uh, how we like okay. exaggerated so much <laughs> yeah. on how big this snakehead is. It, this snakehead, I think it was like a giant snakehead. Is that what they're called, right? It's a yeah. rare black and white ones. They're like supposed to be uh, uncommon and... When we saw it, we saw it jump out from our net. Like, I think it was thrashing around and we looked at it. Boom, comes up. We thought the fish was the size of T-Dot. 
Tita, the size of Tita around maybe uh, five <laughs> years ago. We thought it was I mean, that it could've, big. It could have. No way. We were, no I think we way, saw guys. it like maybe uh, 15, uh, 10, 10 meters away, 10 to 15 meters away. I remember. That's too far. That's way too You far. sure? Okay. Okay. Maybe like less than 10, maybe like seven or something. You were pretty close, actually. Maybe it's like the closer is we thought it was bigger. Like we snake. were about to pick up the neck. No, snakehead. Uh, you know how? Yeah, I know snakehead, but they're not that big. We they thought it was that. They are big. They can get big though. Just not. They are big. Just not. No, wait, wait. Not what we definitely I'll thought. Just was. grab a photo real quick. Uh huh. Just keep talking, saying. Yeah, and then we got like scared so fast. I I think we just like started dad going like swimming back. With uh, just like rushing back uh, to the pier that used to be near the banks of the water. And then we just ran back and told everyone. Yeah, that's where piers usually are. We didn't even have a boat. We used uh, yeah. a rig. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We used a tire oh, rig. Yeah. So just paddle back. And we never saw it again. But I do not. What it? No, yeah, you first. Uh-huh. Just continue. Oh, okay. I mean, would it actually have done anything to you? I don't think it would. Have we actually, no, like, it was just like anything. it was. It was kind of just shock. Something that big can come towards us. No, we're out of there. That's what we thought. Oh yeah. But I mean, there nah, you go. Yeah. I mean, it's it's a river. <laughs> yeah, I know. We yeah, we've seen fish. we've seen like mostly everything. We like seen catfish, seen. Uh, snakes. We've seen what else? E- eels. Uh, no stingrays. Thank God. I always would freaking have died. <laughs> Turtles. Yeah. Turtles. Okay, it's not that scary Snails. when we're like saying it out loud. Turtles. <laughs> freaking turtles. <laughs> we saw turtles. Hey, turtles can be scary. Okay. <laughs> they bite pretty yeah, like hard. Yeah, like snapping turtles. It's kind of no. You don't have snapping turtles, but they still hurt. Uh. I do remember. Crab. I do remember. Yeah, I was. I was about to say crabs. I remember, like one of the mud crabs, or maybe like. Yeah, Pat. I sent you a picture. How big they can get? How big? How big does it say? No, I just sent a picture of a guy holding one. Oh, well, how big is it? Yeah, it's pretty freaking big. Well, how? Well, say it because I'm recording this. Wow, you sent me it on Discord. Yeah. I don't know how to like. Go Good, how to say how many it. like meters, you think? I uh, this is probably what, almost two meters. No, maybe like one and a half. You yeah, that could have been. Oh, that okay. could have been the size of. That Tito. does not look like a snakehead. That looks like a like a dolphin. Wait, no. Did you wait? Did you see the picture? Can you not see the? Yeah, I'm looking at it. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty Why big. Why is it? Yeah, okay, that is big. It could have been that. It could have, but I don't know. Probably we not our kids. one, though. Probably not our one. Yeah, that's freaky, though. Yeah. The river is just a freaky place. I don't think I would go swimming in that river. I would. Again. <laughs> I, I would I would not. No, it, hell like, no. no. We go on the rig where our legs are, like, dangling in the water, but it's just freaking... It's honestly pretty... It's scary. not... Cause yeah. guys, we've been swimming in there for how many years? Yeah, well, we were, we're ignorant. We're stupid. We're Finnish kids. People. We're fearless, man. We're just like, oh, let's jump into the river for snakes and. <laughs> yeah, I'm the only reason. Like, well, I'm not going in there. And, like giant fish. The only reason I'm not. Well, I don't really care about giant fish. The only reason I'm not going in there is that I know that there's been more leeches in the water. That's why. And also, apparently, there's also well, a crocodile a... in there recently. No, there's no crocodiles in there, Gata. Uh, no. Definitely not. No one escaped from a farm and then it was spotted in the river. Was it near us? Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> yes. Where? It was like. Like, it was in this river. Like, in this river. I'm pretty sure I've heard, like, how. How many times have I heard there have been crocodiles in the river from all the years? Well, I feel like if you heard it a lot, it must mean that at least at some point there's been crocodiles. I mean, Pat, it's like saying there's sharks at the beach, but you still go swim at the beach. 
The beach is different. What? At least you can see what is under. No, you I can't would not go because at people the still get attacked. I don't, think I, attacked. I don't think I would swim at the beach. Actually, I people still think it's. Scary. I'd rather I swim in the river than at the beach. I'd rather swim what? in a nice, safe swimming because pool it's safer. without any animals I have to worry about. It's safer, like from like I don't know. Comparing the accidents I've had with the beach to the river, I actually. Uh, the beach is scary. Besides, man. besides the drowning incident, scary. I've like cut my leg open, cut my feet. That's your fault, the beach. The, the, be- the, the beach is beach's fault. The beach is scary. The animals in there are scary. Like freaking moray eels. We saw a blue ring stingray in there before as well, right? What's yeah, a blue? Oh, I thought you were going to say blue ring octopus. I don't, I don't think I No, that. frick, they're not that. That's we scary. We see lionfish, sea snakes. The freaking beach Can is we scary. We've seen jellyfish too. Yeah, jellyfish, puffer fish. Even, have we seen a shark? I don't know. No, no. no I, I don't, think, I, so, I don't no. think so. I think we have maybe like if we've gone on a boat, huh. but or but not like in the water. Yeah. Anyways, scary. I don't want to deal with. Yeah, that. see, it's scarier. Scary well, scarier than a river. What does a river have? Freaking rivers crocodile. are also pretty scary, say. But I think also when we were young and we lived near the beach, it wasn't as like industrialized as it is now. Like. Now there's so many boats and like, you know, jet skis around. I don't think animals will come close to those areas. Hmm. Like before, Phuket was a lot calmer. Like it was it was like a small town yeah, more. It, it wasn't as it wasn't as like touristy, touristy as it yeah, as it is now. So I think we had like the opportunity to see like more animals because the beaches were mm. just not as met, as cluttered with boats and you know all that stuff. But yeah. now, like like last time, like I went to the beach not that long ago, and like there's so many like speed boats and banana boats and jet skis and people like you know parachuting and whatever. Like there's no way like I would see an animal there because it's just they just wouldn't come mm. into this. Are you sure? That, like area. it doesn't depend on the beach, like the beach you go to. It depends. Like, I'm sure if I went to a beach that had less people, then there would be some more, like, wildlife. Hmm. I mean, there's always the little ghost crabs. <laughs> well, those are not scary. <laughs> those are cute. Yes, I... Uh, Point is, animal, some animals are just scary. I do not want to be bit or stung or hurt. Yeah. I think water animals are just kind of scary in general. Land animals versus water animals. Uh, like if you saw, if I animals, saw man. like, oh my God. if I saw like a deer, I wouldn't be like, ah, but even if I saw like a big fish, even if it wasn't like a dangerous fish in uh, the ocean, uh, I would still be more like more freaked out over that than if I saw well, like. If I know what fish I'm looking at, I'm probably not going to be scared. I might be like, ooh. But some some fish are so freaky looking. Like Pat, we like <laughs> like these fish. Right, Kata? Vouch for me. <laughs> what fish? I don't know, maybe you're like talking know, about uh, grouper per se. Just like huge fish. Groupers are pretty scary. Groupers are Okay, freaky. sunfish. Sunfish. Sunfish aren't sunfish scary. Are freaky. Sunfish are cute. I don't think they're they big, look, but they're no, they're not cute. I think they look weird, but I'm not scared they of sunfish. They look weird. So if you were like snorkeling in the water and you saw this this freaky looking like sunfish, you would. Well, it's like Sig said. If it actually poses any threat. If I know to what me. it is, then I wouldn't mind. But if I don't know, then yeah, I'm gonna. Honestly, I probably me be more scared of a freaking whale than a sunfish. Okay, yeah, whale, definitely. Uh, you should be scared of a whale. <laughs> yeah, Katal. Like, whale kind of, is, kind like, of oh, they, could, they could swallow me, and like, oh, what am I going to do? What do you do? Whales are scared. Well, they, they can't, they're not necessarily going to swallow you. I mean, I could, like, I just think I could end up in one of these guys' mouths. Well, you, you, you can't. Yeah, they you can't. They filter feed, mostly. <laughs> Except maybe, like, sperm whales. Whales, uh, what about humpback whales? Remember? 
Oh yeah, humpback whale. Yeah, 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 humpback yeah, 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 yeah. There's a clip of this yeah. humpback whale like almost freaking swallowing, or you know, not swallowing, like I don't know, the kayak like went to this humpback whale's mouth while it was going up. Oh, well, that's just when they're coming up for no, no, air, no. but when they're no, 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 it was like yeah, yeah. eating fish or something. No, not fish, curl. Oh. Yeah, and then there was a kayak there, and they kind of got caught up in it. Well, he's stupid then. <laughs> yeah, going away in the krill feed, huh? <laughs> yeah, see? Yeah, scary. Sea is scarier than river. Right, rest my case. They're both pretty scary. Like, the river, you can't see anything. Yeah, in the river, I'm more scared of the river than I am of the sea. Yeah, sea more. Like, in the river, rivers have crocodiles. And Not like, all the rivers. Just, and they have like giant snakes and uh, like stuff. stingrays as well. So we've never seen yeah, a stingray. Stingrays. Before. Yeah, but you could step on one. That's the we've point. We've never stepped it. on one before. And rivers can have like freaking piranhas also. For the what? Sorry. Piranha. Piranha. That's only in Brazil. <laughs> well, yeah, that's in Brazil. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's still in a river. It's in well, it, yeah, so. Brazil River is freaking. Scary. I'm not going in Brazil River. Like, no, 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 no. Like, no. I don't, don't even I'm go to the, the Amazon forest or anything. Not. I'm not going to Brazil there. Actually, like, okay, if you went to Australia, would you go to the beach? I would not. Uh, I would go. I would go swimming. I would not gorgeous. go. Swimming. I would go. I just like barely get like deep in the water. Just like. Just safe. think. Just think. There's rockfish. Rock, freaking, uh, what else? Uh, condo shells, those con shells, yeah, seashells, sea snakes, those, yeah, but guys, usually those are in coral reefs and stuff. That's if you go diving or no, rockfish, you could step on one, also, like, pretty easily. Yeah, yeah, what I'm saying is they usually live in coral reefs, like, not on the beach, like, they live in deeper, like. Water, they like unless you go snorkeling or not diving deep. Or no, 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 not deep surfing. water. People could step on them, like just like in a rocky. You know those rocky kind of areas. You know, like in Qatar Beach, there's this kind of rocky area. They could uh, be in like areas like those where you're just stepping around. Oh my around. gosh, you guys are such wussies. <laughs> That's the big scared of big fish, deep water, and there's jellyfish. Oh yeah, box, box jellyfish. jellyfish. Yeah, frick that. There. Visible fricks. <laughs> Fine, you guys can hang out on the sand. Great white I'm shark. Go enjoy the beach. Have you seen okay. Australian beaches? Wait, wait, wait. wait. There, it's it's sand and water, <laughs> pet. Sand it's so pretty. And Just water. Google Australian beaches. They're like some of the best Photoshop. beaches like in the world. Photoshopped and color graded. <laughs> and yeah, what's the price for that? A limb, a life. <laughs> Literally a limb. <laughs> I mean, you think you're gonna go to the beach and as soon as you step in the water, you're gonna step on a rockfish and lose your leg? I just don't want to. Man. Um, I'm my watch. <laughs> I've watched so many documentaries, but well, documentaries mostly show bad things because they're tra- making it dramatic. It's not doesn't show the daily life. People wouldn't go to the beach. I forgot what I was gonna say. Getting attacked by animals all the time. Well, man, I've been watching this um lifeguard reality show in Australia. Oh, my God. oh that's probably why. <laughs> <laughs> they got stung by jellyfish, and I'm not. And uh, if they're getting stung by jellyfish, then it's probably real. Uh, you don't go to the beach as often as a lifeguard does. Well, yeah, but it just shows that there's the possibility of getting stung <laughs> by a jellyfish. Yeah, whatever. I actually have bites on my legs from, like, jellyfish since I last went to the beach, and they're still not gone. Bites? See? Not- see? 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 What's the price like of small. sand and water? Because yeah. it was such a fun experience. I don't know. I think beaches are meh. Also, like, well, I don't really care about going to the beach, honestly. Yeah, I so you just want to go to Japan and get cuddled in a maid cafe. 
Yeah, it's hot. Japan. I don't know. Scary. Like the beach is just kind of like the sand gets everywhere. It gets in my underwear. It gets in my freaking suit. It's just kind of. Oh my gosh, you're like, such a princess. I don't like swimming no, in the I, beach. I, 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 I do agree with him. It's like it's very icky when you come back. Just like from what I remember. <laughs> Who cares? I kind of like walking around. I like walking around on like the sand, but like I don't like actually going into the water and freaking. Okay, this is what I'm imagining from what you're saying. It's like, oh, I don't want to go in the water. There's jellyfish in sand. In it's my just clothes. yucky, man. What am I going to do now? So you just take a shower and you go on with your life. You can say the same thing. Just put a river instead of beach. And there you go. But b- river doesn't look aesthetically nice. It just looks brown. Depends what river. What if it's like waterfall river? I swim in waterfalls like I used to anyway, pretty frequently. You know, I just think swimming isn't that fun. Swimming's fun. Shut what? up. What? <laughs> from you? I don't know. I just think it's gonna kind of, swim. Okay, I swim, and then that's it. Nothing. It's not that fun. Oh, weirdo. <laughs> you're, <coughs> you're cutting up, boy. Uh, I don't know what's going on. Are we good? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But what's still, what's wrong, you get on freaking <laughs> swimming under, out, overrated? You're lucky to be swimming. I don't know. I think it's just boring. Lucky, and it's a good life skill. Kata. People can say the same thing about you running around kicking a ball. <laughs> well, yeah, but I'm just saying that swimming, to me, is boring. I would say, like, like the most fun I could get out of it is like probably one hour. That's the, that's it, and then I'm done. What's what I don't get though is those uh, swimming performances. I don't really see that interesting oh. at all. Yeah, I don't understand that either. So, oh, graceful <laughs> swimming oh, in sync or something. I don't know. I guess that could be hard, yeah. actually. I didn't know that water polo is a real sport. Water polo is like you hit a ball with a stick in the water? No, you're in the water and you're like, you know, the game we would play like when we were kids with a ball and there's like a net and then... You're in the water and you just hit the ball to each other to get it into mm. the goal. And uh, apparently, that's a real sport with like real teams. Yeah. I, I mean, guess. there's a lot yeah. of weird sports out there. Oh, you should tell sure. Pei if she knows about this one. I'll just say critical. That's it. But I can explain. And <laughs> I just, I just learned today that there's also another one where people like, uh are in wheelchairs and they like go as fast as they can and try to knock each other out of the wheelchair. Uh, I've heard about that. That's not so stupid, <laughs> but so fun to watch. That's kind of, yeah, it's like Paralympics. No, so <laughs> no, I don't know if they're actually like jousting, but with wheelchairs. I wonder if they still do like actual <laughs> jousting. Probably like real like I feel like you could lads. die from that. actual pipe, not just like a, a block where it like pushes people. No, off. you do. There's a medieval themed restaurant in America with like, uh, it's like set up like an amphitheater, and they have like actual jousting. Was that the one on Cake Boss? I don't know. I remember it was one episode. Cake Boss. Yeah, no. they did like a castle cake or something. Oh, hmm. well, I don't know. Oh, yeah, you want to tell her? Yeah. There's this sport that me and Sang have been watching. It, oh, no. It's It's where people... It's a slapping sport. So basically, <laughs> one, what, there's, a, there's, one, there's, there's one dude sitting on one side. No, not sitting, standing on one side of a table. And another dude standing on another side. So basically, it's turn-based. So they get turns to slap each other across the face. I think they have like three rounds. I it depends actually. So basically, okay. they stand on the other side of the table. These are like big dudes, by the way, They're like Vikings. These are huge guys. And basically, the, their their goal is 
to slap the other guy across the face as hard as they can. And whoever basically gets a knockout or, like, you know, does the most damage uh, wins. Wait, how much damage can you do, though? Do quite a bit of damage. Like breaking the nose or something? It like, no, Maybe it's like slapping. The... It's bare, like open hand slap. So it can, it, it sometimes it draws blood and usually, but usually it's a lot of swelling. Oh. Wouldn't it be like the coach stops them so, or something? Like that's guy, that guy can't go on. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I meant. Basically, there's technical knockouts, there's actual knockouts. Did you see like, yeah, it's very or fun. Drop. Yeah, these are big guys. Like these, are, these guys are massive. Yeah, can you dodge? No, you have to stand there and take it. Basically, it's an endurance. That's not a sport. It's endurance. Yeah, it kind of is. It, it's a sport. Like you're training your arm to like... Uh, <laughs> and then you're so, like trained to yeah, do it. Yeah, but then the other person is just a victim. They don't no. like yeah, but get they get to, a like, turn. try to defend themselves. It's who, they get lo- a turn. who lasts the longest. So yeah, if the, if the guy, if the guy, the first guy slaps and then the other guy doesn't get knocked or anything, okay, then he gets a turn to slap. So basically, whoever, you know, is who, mm. whoever looks the best or like does the best by the end of it wins. So why are you interested in watching this? It's just fun. <laughs> it's interesting. Do you guys like want to try it on each other? Yeah, I'll do it. No, I get no, there. I, do I don't want to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I do not want to. I beg and beak it up. <laughs> it's brutal, so like, I don't want to do that. Yeah, plus your guys' hands are bony. That's and good. Your faces are bony. Yeah. So that means that bone will just connect. With I don't want to break my face. So yeah, it's slap. Open hand slap. We can do back slaps. That's even worse. Yeah, that's where your knuckles are. Yeah, no, so no. Pants? But there are some sports that I just don't get, like very boring There's... sports. You know that? That you know the one that in Thailand where you throw the metal yeah, ball I know, at the. Yeah, it, I'm like, who? Why? Or why do you like this sport? What? What sport? It's where they, I... they they throw the metal ball. Oh. And then they have okay. to throw the other metal ball at the metal ball. Yeah. It's so it's boring. So <laughs> it's so boring. <laughs> it's like... No, uh-huh. pack. It's like, I see... It, yeah. I've watched them. They see... I see them throw it. And okay, then the next guy... Everyone is so quiet. It's just like, okay. And then they walk. And then they throw it. And then they walk. And the next guy walks, throws it. It's so boring. It's so quiet. There's no, like, intensity. It's just throwing balls no, and other balls. There is, there is intensity. It's just not, like loud cheerings like everyone's focusing so much that they're so quiet hmm. i don't know i like, just think I, it's go on yeah i used to be in student council right so like we had like sports festival and i had to like take down the scores of people's games so most of the time i would do it for takra but then i did it once for Petong, the metal ball throwing uh. game. And it was like, yeah, it was the most boring thing I ever saw. I was like, I was literally just watching them, like, why do you play this game? And it wasn't old people either. It was like young yeah, Filipino, like young Filipino guys. So, and I was just like, so of all the games you decided to choose, you chose like this <laughs> boring game. You just throw this ball. And yeah, I don't get it. Honestly, it's so quiet and boring. It's just like, okay. <laughs> yeah, I think it's like an old people game, but yeah, oh, they they enjoy it so. <laughs> hmm. Well, like I would understand like chess or something because that's strategic. I would get that like why that would it would be fun to play, even though it's really mm-hmm. quiet. But but yeah, it's like strategy. This is throwing balls at other balls. It's <laughs> I just don't get it. It's what you it's what you do in the bedroom. Huh? <laughs> what did you say? I didn't hear you. Never mind. <laughs> what I got it. <laughs> what did I got you say? <laughs> what the hell? See, 
Sexual innuendos. Oh. <laughs> well. All right. You can cut that out of the podcast. No, he we're cut from... out <laughs> I cut out stuff. <laughs> no, you don't. You don't hey, don't cut there's out a line anything. in my mind, okay? Whatever you're not... You're not watching it, so you don't know. Well, whatever, man. <laughs> yeah. You don't. But the call is fun. The call is really fun. Yeah, the there were these really short, like really short Hmong guys, but they were super fit. Like they would jump super high on their short Which little legs just still and like, like it. kick the ball. <laughs> Deck Hmong are just on another level of. Yeah, they're like, so athletic. I know it's like okay to give context. Deck Hmong are basically like these short, mountain guys. people. They they like I don't know, they look a bit Chinese you no know, Mongolian, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. A little bit Chinese. Yeah. yeah. Like some so basically speeches. they live they usually like live in the mountains. They own they have their own kind of dialect as well. Right, yeah they do. And yeah. They us- have their own language. Yeah, usually they're super fit. Like every single one of them. Like all of them. Yeah. So like when they play football or anything, usually they're like the best ones because they're they're just I don't know naturally gifted. It's because like they live kind of like hard lives, not hard necessarily, but it's very strenuous like on their physical body. Like like my roommate was Mong, and she would tell me stories like oh yeah i used to wake up at like four in the morning and draw water from the well and then walk down the mountain to go back to my house and i was just like <laughs> <There's me. laughs> so, like okay <laughs> like no wonder you're so strong like they just do like a lot of they basically just labor. train for their lives it's just like they walk up and down the mountain and there's the thin yeah, they air like, yeah and they like farm their own vegetables and like grow like you know raise their own animals and stuff and also kill their own animals like it's it's yeah yeah, physically physical hard work so that's why they're so strong yeah i remember when i was like Uh i don't know 10 or 11 i had a like tug of war with this deck monk girl and i lost (laughs) this deck monk girl who was shorter than me by the way at that time and i lost Uh (laughs) <laughs> just because she's a dick monk like i undressed her i was like oh i got this i got this so, <laughs> so when i went to do the tug of war i've got destroyed like by this <laughs> dick monk girl i was like what the hell i was so confused i was like am i even a, <laughs> a man uh, challenge your identity <laughs> It was ridiculous, honestly. And I remember also, like, when a rat fell in the toilet. What? A rat, uh, so a rat fell in the toilet, and then she was, like, at the house at the time. And then Ooh. I was like, there's a rat in the toilet. Everyone was, like, going to look at the rat. And like, we are just trying to figure out how to get the rat out of the toilet. It was still oh alive, by the way. It was trying to get out. And then she just came in. She was like, oh, I can get it out. She just grabbed it by the tail picked it up and then threw it out <laughs> hardcore we're yeah, by knock we don't like that <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're, <laughs> we're by knock but we're not that by knock <laughs> yeah duck monks are just on another level man Good yeah they're kind of funny my roommate was like she's very I don't know nature like really loves nature oh. so one time her one time her family visited and there are like rooms that you can rent on the campus like for family members and they're not expensive but they like brought all their own like camping equipment like cooking equipment and like their own like food and stuff and like so they just camped (laughs) below our room like our room was like up here on like the third floor or something Hmm. And then they were below on the ground behind the dorm with like a tent and like their little camp set up. And I was like, oh my gosh, like you can't like rent a hotel room or something. Like, That's big brain moves right there. Save money. Yeah. Yeah, they save money. And they brought all their own food and like their own like little I clay feel like, like stove and everything. I feel like we would do something like that. They didn't have to pay for the space. No. 
No, because they're just camping on the ground. And what are what is the security gonna do? Be like, you can't camp here. Like, I would yeah, you think pay you, you the... can. Yeah. I I don't I don't know. I don't think they care. I don't, I don't think, think they, they expect much. people to do that. So they just like when that actually yeah. happens, well, just kind of like one off. Yeah. Just like oh whatever. Okay, let's do that. <laughs> I want to go camping actually. No. Yeah. I, I don't like camping. Maybe it's one, fun, like, for cool. one day, not too long. Yeah, like a few days. Last time was no, no, one day. Why one day? One day. What? I don't think, think, think. <laughs> two <laughs> days. Think. Do think. you realize? I don't how remember. Hot Thailand is. I don't remember. Yeah, it's been so, and besides, we went to the we, we go to mountains because it's, that's why. What is not it's, hot in the mountain? No, we went there when it's cold. It is. We go when well, it's, it's cold, cold, not like anymore. now. Even in winter, it's not cold. It's still hot during the day. Well, it's cold if you go to certain places. Yeah, that's like what I mean. Go to Chiang Mai for camping, not freaking backyard for camping. <laughs> camping. <laughs> well, last, the- last time I went camping, it was in like this camping ground next to a lake, and there was like a waterfall, mm. and it was nice, but it was so hot. Like in a tent, and there are mosquitoes, and like you can't do anything about the heat. Like you don't have a fan, and you don't have an air con. Yeah. So you just have to lie in the tent and sweat, and it's horrible. Mm-hmm. What if we rented like an Go RV? To the waterfall. No. Then that's not camping. Yeah, that, that's that's sleeping in a car. <laughs> yeah, this, yeah, sleeping in a car with a barbecue. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> Why not? No. That's not the camping experience. That's, that's for white people. We yeah, that's for those rich. You guys are acting like we go out and sleep in like on the trees with a, like hammocks or something. <laughs> oh, well, like that. We should. Uh, I don't know if you remember, like this family story where this guy was hiding in the trees with his bed sheets or something. <laughs> what? What are what? you talking oh, about? I said this in the last podcast but i don't remember i thought pet would help me it's like it's one of those uh family videos well uh, i think yeah that skit I, think I know where this guy yeah like some hid in a tree someone was running away yeah he was running away from someone and he had bed sheets and he was trying to find a way to sleep with like hi- while hiding so he like made a hammock out of bed sheets so she hung on the yeah, and slept in it. but I don't know what that story <laughs> is. Yeah, I don't know what's the point. Uh, it was probably like he's American running from the British or something. Oh, whatever, mm. some propaganda for sure. Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> anyways, yeah, camping should only be one day and it has to be cold. Yeah. And what sucks is in the morning, when you wake up, it's so bright. You can't sleep in. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Like, uh, when I went to camp, I slept at maybe 4 a.m. Because you're, yeah, we're a bunch of young people and we're drunk. Yeah. And, yeah, so, like, around 6 a.m., it's super bright. You can't sleep. Like, there's no way to block the light out because you're in a tent. So... Get a light yeah. proof tent. You just have you just have to get up. You can't do anything about it. Many ways you yeah. get around that. Block your face, put the blanket on top of the tent. Yeah, but it's also more hot. Like Yeah, it's like you don't want to put up. every you don't want to put anything on your face. Or yeah, on same. your body. That's why you have pimples. Then I put plenty <laughs> of stuff on my face, that's why. <laughs> Anyways, I don't really. I mean, I would do it, but not that often. Like you not did I, at that's all. what I'm trying to say. We haven't done it in like years. Fine, yeah. let's go camping. See how much you like it. Yeah, Dang. guys. <laughs> no, I want my phone. I want internet. I want. Ugh. Technology. You're like. I would. Country. I would go camping if it's in like a bungalow. Yeah. That is. Is that camping? Sure. Well, no. I just want to be in a bungalow. <laughs> Bungalows are That's fun. more like nature, I guess. Saying, were you were you there when we were studying at Head Start and we went for like 
an overnight field trip. Yes, Pat. I I remember. And there were. Be- I remember there because were, we went on like an elephant. I remember because I remember the story where like I wasn't the one looking at the girls' uh, dressing room and the other guys were. That's what I remember. <laughs> Yeah, you were a good kid. That was just naive <laughs> regret. Zag was the innocent boy. Zag was the innocent boy from the start. Still innocent now. Yeah. Zag was so innocent. No, you're not innocent. You threw a penis on the ceiling. So. Yeah, I threw someone's random penis on the ceiling. Whatever, that's Zag's that's like peak, um, what you call it? Peak? Whoa, no, 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 no. Reached his um, what's it called? I don't know. What's the word for that? Like you know when you've peaked and you've like you can't go any higher than that. Just the moment. Mm. At the very least, I've Unless never, I've never, I've never vomited or gotten like blackout drunk. Th- those two, I need to achieve in order to become. Uh, no, you what don't. do you mean? You need to what? What? what Before what do you need I become to like achieve? a true alcoholic, like everyone's saying. Okay. What? No one what then? What then? The last goal like... you have to achieve is drink alcohol till you die. No, <laughs> the last one would be like taking alcohol and drugs at the same time. I don't. No. Say, I think that's dumb. <laughs> yeah, it is. There's just some things hey. you just don't have to. Hey, do. I'm not. I. I haven't done them yet, and I know people who have. So why oh. do you have to do it? Yeah. Why so are you shaming so me on something I haven't done yet? <laughs> well, it's like you, one... you almost said it as like a goal. Yeah. Guys, joke. So if someone comes up to you and they're like, hey, you want to try heroin? And you're like, oh, I never tried it before. Guys, I've sure. denied smoking for like ever. Ever since I started well, working. That's okay? good for you. I'm not going to. I'm not going to do it now. I was joking. Okay. <laughs> You're not gonna do it now. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna say never because I can't jinx it. Mm. What? Okay. Okay. Well, I don't like smoking either. I would say never I never tried it, but I just think it doesn't look or feel that nice to do, honestly. Well, you don't know, Kata, why do people do it? It's like a stress. I don't know. I've smelled secondhand smoke. Maybe it's not to say, but I already don't like that. Yeah, I don't like the smell. I don't like feeling the smoke go into my body. Like, I've smoked before, but, like, to smoke it, like, properly, you have to, you know, you have to, like, inhale it deep into your lungs and then, like, blow it back out. I don't like that feeling of the smoke going in, like, the imagery. It's just, like, bleh. Uh, and Yeah. Yeah. But- and then, like, the cigarette boxes are so freaking ugly. I don't know why anyone would buy it and be like, like, I want to put this in my mouth. <laughs> yeah, I, w- I want to end up like this. Yeah, fine. So, Fair it's enough. obviously not I mean, stopping people. Yeah, I mean, just because you smoke doesn't mean you will end up like that. But it's just even a possibility. It's like, I don't need that in my life. There's plenty of other pleasures I can enjoy, like chocolate cake. Yeah, exactly. Why don't they do that on, like, alcoholic drinks? Like, show a picture of a car I think No, I think (laughs) think alcohol is different. I think alcohol is better. I think alcohol is better. Just oh, I, okay. Com- smoking compared to alcohol, uh, probably smoking, but then alcohol is like so much more easier um, to get. That it's like I don't think so. I think s- no cigarettes, cigarettes are, are cheaper. To- right? Cigarettes are not I easier. think they are. Yeah, they are. Cigarettes are cheaper. They're like sixty baht for a box, right? Like say if you buy like a bottle of vodka, say it's gonna be like. That's probably like three or four boxes. What about of like two cigarettes. beers? Not... Beers are not going to get you drunk unless you're you. Well, yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Oh. <laughs> hey, shut up. You don't know. Shots fired. But I mean, if you're really going to be drunk enough to like cause damage to like yourself or other people, I think you would definitely have more than two beers and it would cost like, like, money eventually how much is like one beer 
Uh, depends what you get. Well, yes. like, what's the average? Seven, I, I don't know. I, I've never bought like one. Like, 50, 60. Hmm, okay. Like, if you're getting, like, shit beer, then, like, yeah, it's gonna be, like, 50 baht in a can. Okay. Nah, so, yeah. I just need one bottle of soju <laughs> I'm done. That's it. I don't like soju. Soju's okay. I like rosé. Rosé is fine, but it's just a lot of I basically don't like any alcohol that tastes really bitter, so I have to mix it with You stuff. like the mm. sweet alcohol, except soju, apparently. I don't you, know. You, like, really you need something in the alcohol. You need, Actually, like, mixers. I, yeah, I need mixers. I need to, like, mix it with Coke or Sprite yeah. or juice or something. I always like have to. Like, shots, I hate shots. Like, it's just like, why would I want this bitter, like, drink? Like, tequila, tequila shots with the salt and the lime? Uh, yeah. I had, like, tequila recently, but I had it in, like, a margarita, and it was nice. Mm. Yeah, shut up, Katadi. So, adults are talking. <laughs> yeah, Kata. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Totally relate. Hey, you had. When are you gonna join the adult? Kata, you world, had. You Kata, you had Spy. We had Spy, is spy when we were kids and we got drunk, apparently. We did not get drunk. <laughs> We're probably just acting stupid. There's nothing to do with the drink. So it's probably like following our uncles again. <laughs> the most I've drank in alcohol is one bottle of spy and that's it I gave you what did I give you I gave you like a sip of not mimosa what was it Smirnoff yeah Smirnoff's good I could easily Smirnoff is like casual off Smirnoff it's like an easy drink where you like drink multiple and you can yeah, but like Smirnoff, it tastes so good that you don't realize that like, it's, like you're getting drunk because it just doesn't taste like bitter bleh, alcohol. Ah, okay. Wait, you had it, Kata. I don't know. I don't remember. Yeah, I don't think I did. I gave it. I to think you. I would. I think I would remember if I had. I gave it to you, minor. <laughs> You minor. <laughs> <laughs> you well, whatever, man. I ha- I have my What's Schweppes. It? That's it. I have my tonic water, uh, soda water. <laughs> you have everything but the alcohol. You have the other half. <laughs> <laughs> you take. Yeah. I started. I started to drink wine more. I I, I had becoming a, a grown up lady now. Uh, I feel like. I'm mean, not really. I feel like that's what. Like more mature yeah, people like, do <laughs> drink wine. Oh. Yeah, probably. Oh no. Like I, yeah. I mean, it's just like might as well try it. I mean, it's like a whole like drinking alcohol is like a whole other world. It doesn't necessarily have to be bad, you know. Like Italians drink wine like with meals and stuff, yeah. and like it's like a cultural thing. Like, you might as well, like, if you're old enough and you can afford it, like, try different drinks out and see, like, what you like. Like, I don't really know what I like yet because mm. I haven't really experimented mm. enough. Yeah. So, rosé would be, like, your favorite out of the wines. For now, just because it's, it's not really wine. It's more like sweet oh. beer. I would say, like, sparkling's nice. Whenever I had it, it was okay. Okay. Prosecco. Like- Prosecco. Totally. Yep. Schweppes <laughs> lime soda. Hell yeah. Uh, what I what I That's don't like what I don't get is what I see like on TikTok and on Facebook. It's where those kids who put in so many mixtures and all those oh, yeah. tile, like, alcoholic oh, drinks. Oh my god! Yeah, 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 like they put in gummy bears. What? And ice. They put in everything. They put like. M M one hundred fifty. They put like Schweppes. They put Oishi tea. They put then I don't know. They put like everything. It's like the trash Ew. can of alcohol. You just dump everything in. And they drink yeah. it. Yeah. Why? And they put dye in as well. Just for like blue dye, right? 
Ew. Oh, like food coloring. <laughs> no, not. What kind of dye you think I was talking about? Well, hair when dye. you say dye, I think like no, hair no, dye no. or like clothes dye. <laughs> yeah, it's just, nah. Yeah. yeah that's, well, okay. Yeah, I just. Thai people are stupid. I don't get Thai people. Well, I don't get alcohol. So, so you, you know now that like on Instagram they have like reels, right? Yeah. Like TikTok, you, on Instagram. yeah. So, yeah. So, like, I I've been watching them, and ever so often there will pop up this little like Thai kid who's like probably like just seven years old or something doing some kind of like sexy TikTok dance, and I like get so disturbed. Yeah, I know. Did, I know. Did you guys, see that? I'm looking oh, at. Yeah. I'm trying to look TikTok at girls on Instagram and see just... kids are like whoop. No. <laughs> yeah, I'm just like ah. Like get away. I'm like, and that happens on um, uh, uh, it happens like on dating apps, like on Tinder and stuff. No. Yeah. I'm just what? Well, where I'm just like swiping, and then, and then I see this person mm-hmm. liked me because I can see like who liked me. I, well, it, there's this blurred image, but I can make out if like. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then you see the person. Later. And then I see the person, and then I'll go, I look at the the bio. It says 14 years. I'm just like, nope. Ah. <laughs> nope. Like, what are you doing on Tinder? Get off. Ew, that's really disturbing. It's like, I'm flattered, but you're 14. Huh? Grow up first. <laughs> also, they're not even allowed to be on Tinder. And also, exactly. some, do, some of those profiles are verified as well. The same? Yeah. Like, the moderators. It's easy to get verified. Yeah, yeah well, I mean, you just take a couple of photos, right? I know, but if they're like stating that they're underage in their bio, shouldn't the mods check whether or not? I mean, there are thousands, yeah, exactly. probably like million of people on Tinder. Like, there's no way they can check every profile. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Just stating. I feel like they, I, I don't know. They probably just had to try to trust the adults on the on the platform to be adults. <laughs> <laughs> well, so yeah, back yeah. back to reels is just not something I want to look at. Thank you very much. It's just, just stay in TikTok, please, for kids. I actually know. Actually, no. In general, no. Get off. No, just Get don't off. do it. Just it's, don't it's do still it. gonna happen. You stupid though. kids. If the adults are doing it, yeah. then the kids are gonna follow. There, there's an Instagram page I follow. I, I don't remember what it's called, but something like "Sexy Thai Girls," and I used to look at it to like play a game. Like, is this a lady boy or not? <laughs> <laughs> no, I could just do it on Tinder. But, <laughs> oh my god! But yeah. Anyway, so then like sometimes they post girls on there that like really look like they're still in high school like they have like the short haircut and they're like wearing braces and they're like you know doing some cutesy pose with like orange Mm -hmm. lipstick and i'm just like why would you post this like clearly like a girl in high school on this um sorry very cut out oh i I was just saying like why would you post like this i mean Who's not, clearly is still yeah. 14, 15. I mean, just maybe they state it like in the description, perhaps, do they? No, they don't. They don't say so, it. Yeah, like, I'm gonna guess. Girls, like, I'm guessing with these pages, like they steal these photos off like uh, these users' uh, f- pages. No, I think the girls, they send the photos to be posted because I see them comment, like, ah, oh, thank you. Okay, yeah, maybe that. that then. Well, I mean, I would... Yeah, but it's just, like... Like, I don't want to see, like, a 15-year-old, like, doing that. It's just... Ugh, it's yeah. And yeah. then trying to... And then looking up 18-plus on Instagram is that, isn't exactly, like, the best way to search for, like, people... Like, adults... Adult pages or something? I don't know. I don't want... I don't want to try. Oh, there's adult pages on no, I mean, Instagram, if you I search, like... Yeah, no, for sure. Are. Because I... <laughs> I know, uh, <laughs> I know. Okay, I'm not, I'm an a, I know. Because if you search uh, eighteen plus on Instagram, you can see like half naked. You can obviously see their. I didn't know that. You can obviously that see their allowed. tits. Yeah, you can. It's see through. I don't really I know how how Twitter. it can go through. It's kind of like how YouTube's the same thing. Like there's like 
porn on YouTube as well. Yeah. So. Hmm. Especially with like OnlyFans being so popular now, like girls also advertise themselves on Instagram. Oh. I feel like Twitter is the place for that because Twitter actually allows it. Oh well, Instagram they do it too. Well, I mean, okay. yeah. Like I follow. No, no, uh-huh. you go. Like I follow like meme pages, yeah. And recently, the like the meme pages have been posting like, "Oh, look at this girl! Like, go follow her at," and then you look at her handle, and it's like, "Oh, only fans, blah 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 blah." And it's like the girls are using these popular pages to like promote their. Ah. Yeah, they're paid. They're only fans. I'm just like it's freaking everywhere. Like it's like really it hard is to avoid popping ever yeah. since COVID. It just only fans freaking blew up. Uh, popping. I mean, I like. I wish I was a girl. I was on only fans. Honestly, because the amount the amount of money they're making. Just like just no, you don't come. <laughs> Just what I'm seeing. It doesn't have to even be like nude. It just be like suggestive, and then they get millions. Like uh, I saw, what's that? Bad the bad uh, bad baby when she turned eighteen. She opened she opened OnlyFans. She got like a million dollars within the first twenty four hours. That's because she's bad baby and she like is already famous. But also she just turned 18 and that, that like kind of That's kind of a draw yeah, for exactly. a lot of That's kind of weird guys. as well actually. Like people are really waiting weird. to be for her to be 18 and oh yeah finally yeah that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh guys I I just we just need I, Kata, we need to be really careful who we're looking at just like make Second adjustment. Oh, because you don't know how old they might yeah, be. Yeah, exactly. It's freaking... Yeah, like I saw a girl's like post today on Instagram. Just like a random girl. I don't know who she is. And then on a, the post it said like, just turn 19. And like, she looks like she's like 27. But the way she like dresses and does her makeup. Yeah. Like, yeah, she's actually really young. Like, not like 16, but like 19 is still mm-hmm. pretty young. But she looks so old. Like, you never know, like, how old someone can be because you can be really young and look, like, it's, much older. I heard it like a joke, like, you cannot meet someone unless they have their passport with them. <laughs> like, show your passport <laughs> and then we can talk and that's it. <laughs> yeah, can I see your ID? Can I see no, no. ID that? <laughs> no. They said not even ID. What? Because you oh can my. fake your ID. Can't you fake your passport? Yeah, you can easily fake. Passport is a little bit harder because it has different pages yeah. in it. Oh. Like an ID card is just one card. Okay. Yeah, just be real. Uh, I just won't see anybody. I'll just be alone. <laughs> no risk. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, technically like, that I'm would not, be not like gonna way go to... safer. Yeah, I'm not gonna go to to the beach and risk stepping on a rockfish, and I'm not gonna go. So you're just not gonna do anything. <laughs> I'm, not gonna... I'm not gonna breathe in the air because the air is polluted. I'm not gonna drink the water like because it has fly. impurities. So I'm not gonna eat because there's toxins in the food. There's microplastics. I'm not gonna eat food. I'm not gonna drink. <laughs> so I'm gonna breathe. Gonna I'm just gonna die. <laughs> yeah. I was scrolling through Facebook videos and then this ad came up and it was like, this is the sound of owls being trapped in Johns Hopkins lab. So like for like, I think it's like a company that sells like cosmetics and that kind of Mm. stuff. Mm. And they use the owls for experiments. And like, I like, it was like the first five seconds of the ad, right? Before I could skip. And all I could hear was this like terrifying screeching sound from the owls that were like trapped and i was just like jesus christ okay skip ad i thought i mean johns hopkins was a hospital isn't it or i don't know what it was for but like i just remember the ad was and then i don't remember what they were trying to do like save the owls or Mm. something Mm. but yeah the like my point is that like you there's so much stuff that's like fucked up with things that you can't really avoid everything 
Yeah. You, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. Just face it head on now and just try to get, uh, I don't know, if you're like now, like over the years, uh, we've slowly transitioned to stay online. We just become in what's that word? Insensitive, sensitized. Yeah, like desensitized. Saying, like, De- oh, desensitized. yeah, desensitized. Yeah. Just my everything. Yeah. I don't know. I think we have. I think we have. I definitely. I'm pretty sure you've so. seen like those, uh, <laughs> like exposes like, about like how bad slaughterhouses are. Like no frick, they're there to freaking die. Like, okay. <laughs> I don't I don't think we're desensitized. I think we just don't care and humans have not cared about it for like a long time. Like even before there was technology, like people still killed animals, probably you know. Mm. It, I think maybe it's desensitized because it's online. You kinda of think, okay, yeah, it's online. It's there. Yeah, but, but like if you see it in real life, then you kind of like, oh sh <laughs> like you know, kind of like that. I'm, I don't know because that's what I kind of thought about uh, saying conscription. I was just like, oh, yeah, he's going to go there. He's going to do the thing. It's going to be chill, fine, whatever. And then when I actually was there looking at it, it was like, oh, oh, damn. This is actually pretty, uh, you know, real. Uh-huh. I feel like since it's online, people know it's real, but they're kind of like put it off. Don't really care about it because it's, it's just online. It's not, you know. <laughs> I, I mm-hmm. don't really know how to explain it. Uh, yeah. But uh, for me, I don't think that technology has to do with people <coughs> not caring. Like, even, you know, like, I even before, like, okay, like, when there wasn't technology, like, people still killed animals for meat and used that, like... You know, it wasn't yeah. like people still didn't care. It has nothing to do with technology. It's just that we don't care. I and kind of think it point. does have to do with technology because how we progress and then how people like change their mindset over like the past decade where people, you know, like the hippie age or something where they wanted like love and peace throughout no war or something. We've definitely changed from that. Uh it's not like the same where we're like freaking hunting for animals as usual. I mean, as before, sorry, not as usual. Maybe mm. like technology. Uh, I need to word this carefully again. No, I'm good. I'm lost at words. Uh, Just say your opinion. No, it's hard to Raw. it's hard to word it. I'm saying right. like now we're starting to not care because. You're cutting up. No, it's not cutting up. I'm just yep. stuck. <laughs> what? This gender, like, over the years, we decided to not... Maybe we decided to care more instead. We care more that we're hunting out, like, we're killing animals. We're... Okay, maybe we're caring more, not, like, being desensitized. I gotta just change. I don't think technology is responsible for that, though. I think it's just because people are becoming more aware. Yeah, it's because of maybe, technology. Uh, maybe because... I think it's because we've become more comfortable with things that we start caring about things that and it's like, be- we didn't think about before. That we usually didn't care about. And it's about. because yeah. of technology. Because, like, the spread of information. We know how, like, um, let's say... Uh, Mexico is treating their fisheries or something. I don't know. And we started to care about mm-hmm. that. We didn't, we would have known if like there's no internet or something. We would have done the same uh, thing we were doing in Thailand, which is uh, freaking farm ice and not give a frick. We'll be like freaking farmers. Hmm. Well, yeah, I guess so. There's also such thing as caring too much, though. Uh, yeah. I'll say vegans. At least Definitely. I think so. <laughs> no, I just they, like the crazy like, ones. Just, no, I mean, normal ones are fine. But what? Like I, uh huh. No, no, you can go ahead. I right, finish. 
I mean, like, I used to work at a school where there's, like, really rich parents, right? So they kind of are used to getting whatever they want. And they, like, obviously care a lot about their kids, but sometimes it just was a little too much. Like, there was one incident where, like, a mom was just carrying her kid the whole time. The kid wanted to, like, run on the ground, but she's like, no, you can't touch the ground the ground is dirty and it was like a floor like a tiled floor so and she was like no you can't walk on it because there's germs uh. and i was just like um <laughs> i think that's a little too extreme like you you're gonna need to let your kid walk but yeah yeah well also could be one of those things where parents are just like telling them not to do something and then giving them a kind of non-fact for the kid to believe them like what no it's kind of like you know how like like parents they say kid to their kids stupid things like oh this will happen to you if you do it but it's actually just not true i'm trying to to think of an example but i can't find one um uh like when our dad forced us to eat rice cereal because we apparently needed to gain weight (laughs) Yeah, something like that. I mean, it can help, mm. but you don't have to drink, I mean, eat rice cereal. Yeah, and it was so yucky. <laughs> it was fine. Well, you liked it because you were like a nice little boy. <laughs> I liked what, mostly whatever I ate. Except eggs, probably. Eggs I did not like. Hmm. Wait, you don't, not, mm. you don't like eggs? What? Well, not... What's wrong with you? What? Yes, I like eggs now. Oh. Just not before. <laughs> yeah, but you didn't like food before when you were small, okay? I still don't like it. Yeah. Wait, like uh, what? I don't like liver. Liver like sucks. Mayonnaise. Oh, mayonnaise is disgusting. Mayonnaise could yeah. be good. It depends. It's mayonnaise just... has raw egg in it, and it's, it's just the taste That's and fine. the smell. It's just. Ugh. I think the mayonnaise could be good for some things. Yeah. Um, I'll only eat it if it's like a little bit and there's like other stuff to kind of yeah. like cover. I don't like it when they substitute mayonnaise for cheese. Yeah, like Thai people. Thai people like mayonnaise? <laughs> mayonnaise? That's Ketchup cheese, right? Mayonnaise. Like, you, you want some cheese on this? Okay. Pours a bunch of mayonnaise on it. Here you go. It's like, you ruined it! <laughs> <laughs> like, they're like, mayonnaise well, and cheese creamy, are the right? same so thing. Yeah, they're both, yeah. they're maybe. both white and gooey. Kind of like, <laughs> never mind. You, do you guys know, like, the pork flosses? Huh? The what? Pork floss. Pork, pork block? Pork floss. What is floss? Block. <laughs> F-L-O-S-S. Floss. Floss? Yeah. String of pork? It's like, it's almost like a very thin strings and it's almost like fluffy. Uh, you mean shredded and, like, pork? Ties, like, use it in snacks. It's, oh, it's is it? so fine, it's almost like soft. Is, is it shredded pork? Isn't it? it sounds like shredded pork because I hear that. Here, I'll show, I'll find it. I'm pretty sure I remember very clearly getting like a bun with. Yeah, shredded pork. it's in buns and stuff. Yeah, yeah. that's it's yeah, called shredded that. pork. It's like brown. I hate right? that. Yeah, it's called pork floss. Yeah, I hate that. Completely. I'm never eating yeah. it. Again. I, I yeah, I got like I ordered a bunch of buns from like a breakfast place, and I was so excited, and I opened one of them, and it had like that stuff in it, and I was like, ugh, and I didn't even try to eat it. I, <laughs> I think it. it's fine. I think it's okay. <laughs> gross. Ew, no, disgusting. It's, gross. it's not disgusting. I yeah. I can eat it. I ate everything but that. Yeah, like if I had it in a snack, I would just eat around it and just throw the yeah. pork floss. Well, yeah, but I, I think I'm fine with it. I can eat it. I've had it plenty of times. Are you Are you okay with boiled chicken now? I mean, common guy, <laughs> kind of. I think no. I'm only. You're I think I'm okay of. with common guy if it's like a freaking tom yum. Or something like that. I'm like, no. Tom Kakai Kata? No. Okay. 
I'm fried all the way, fried boy, unhealthy oil. Nice. Hmm. I'm gonna buy an air fryer. Air. So ah, like good. it uses air to fry it instead of heat. Me- I mean, yeah, it's, instead of like flame. Uh, oil oh. like hot oil. When you oh. say air, you can put so like, it uses heat like. Yeah, it's basically like an oven, okay. but it's faster. It is not more convenient. Yeah, it's like a faster, more convenient oven. Ah, okay, that's nice. I yeah. guess. Yeah, Thank you. You know, learn how to cook. Take, take. Yeah, Ta, we're adult now. We drink. I wine. know how to cook. I make boiled water and uh, pack a pow. You, you still water. make boiled water? Yeah, I still make boiled water. I think I've mastered it, honestly. Wow. <laughs> You can time it perfectly and when the bubbles start coming out. Well, I can make Stop. some good boiled eggs, though. Katana makes good fried eggs. And, uh, uh see. What? Eggs? I want fried egg now. I'm hungry now. I, I had two yeah, now. I'm hungry. I wanted to get snacks, but now it's too late. What? Everything's closed. Don't. Well. Blame us. We invited you on the party. Uh, I have something to show off. Look at this. Well, oh, Look I have noodles. at I can this. Make noodles. Look at this. Roti. You got a cig. Roti. Yeah. You got roti. a giant ass cigar. Oh, I want roti. Yeah. He, pat, pat, pat. He wants to flex on us, really. I flex on you with this <laughs> ten baht roti. I love roti. Yeah, I was saying roti is one of the ultimate snacks. I think we already talked about yeah, this. Yeah, so so simple, so good. Yeah, yeah banana one or egg one. I I like both. Even the normal one. Or just ones. the normal one, yeah. I like just normal. Just want some straight up dough. Fried crunchy dough. Uh, yep. How long, Kada? It's been like this two is... hours and twenty minutes now. Oh my! Oh. Let's go to sleep. Sleep? I'm not gonna sleep. Well, I guess. Yeah, yeah, I'm probably not gonna sleep here. I've been. Well, <laughs> I have work tomorrow. So. I thought you sleep late too. I do, but I shouldn't. <laughs> I've been sleeping at like 4 a.m. and then I wake up at like 1, which is really bad, and I don't want to do that. So. Oh, I slept. I couldn't sleep until 6 last night. Actually, no. 6 this yeah, morning, actually. I was, I was editing my video, my video for, until like 4 or 5. five six. And, then, and then that completely ruined my sleep schedule. I need to get back. I mean, my sleep schedule wasn't that good before, but it was definitely better than what it is now. Yeah. Well, lockdown really makes it. Like, it makes it hard, bad. like not to. To. It makes, yeah. it makes it hard to keep your sleep schedule, I guess. Yeah, because I honestly maybe work like if I don't have class, then I probably only teach like I mean work like four hours a day not even four it might even be three yeah so and my work is due at six so if i sleep at two and i start at three and i finish by six then it's like yeah exactly you know, it's like it's, I, it's fine like well, it's like why would i wake up early and then do nothing until i have to you know i don't know but you could do your i don't know why would you wake up early and then have all those hours spared and then you're like okay i've finished this now what i mean you can like say like oh you can work on your art or you can like do exercise or but like at some point you just kind of get not motivated to mm. do that like yeah yeah saying what are you doing <laughs> yeah, no, what just, are you doing i was just uh waiting for you guys i, I mean do you guys see huh oh never mind you guys don't subscribe to Netflix anymore, do you? Uh, uh saying I, is paying for I, I, it's mine now. I watch uh, yeah. Netflix and HBO. Mm. Oh, did you see the Headspace thing? Head, no. No. Oh, so it's, it was like an app that you used to use for like 
meditation and stuff, but they've expanded a lot. So now they made a series for like a guide to sleep. <laughs> so it's like a podcast and they like say some things about sleep. And at the end, there's like a routine to help like calm you to go to sleep. And I feel so old because now I like actually listen to it to like <laughs> fall asleep. <laughs> Uh, I'm still like mom now. Like I need to listen to my sleep podcast and like. I think we all are getting old in some way. Like we mean some uh, way we're like, getting old. Like I used to think podcasts were so boring. Like who would watch a podcast? And now yeah, I watch them I, all I the time. Like, <laughs> yeah, me too. I was like, podcast is just people talking yeah. about random stuff. Why would I care about that? It's not like, yeah, I do actually. Yeah, it's podcast. like, it's weird. It's like, I'm, am I becoming a boomer? Am I getting older and boring? I don't think you're all the way to boomer yet. You are 19 mm. years old. Yeah, you're still in a house. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Recently, I became, like, obsessed with, like, uh home stuff like i really want to get plants and i want to get like organizing supplies and <laughs> like cooking equipment yeah. like i'm just, like so like i don't really even care about going out i just want to like make my apartment really homey so i can cook and you know do stuff like that and i was like oh my god i'm so old <laughs> yeah. i'm not i'm not a typical 22 year old yeah it's kind of like you realize, like, when you start, like, going out of your way to kind of buy, like, cleaning products or something like that, you're like, oh. Uh-huh. <laughs> you go out of your way to buy cleaning products? I don't know, stuff? like, sometimes. I, like, buy dusters. I buy freaking, uh... You have a duster? Yeah. Oh, I should get one. Yeah, it's kind of like things you don't think as a kid, like, I'm going to buy all this stuff. You, as a kid, you're like, oh, I'm going to buy all these toys. i got to buy this and that that. Yeah, I buy gadgets. Um, yeah, I'm still thinking. Well, about older doing people that. still buy gadgets. Yeah. I'm still. Yeah, I want to buy a lot of video taking equipment. Mm. <sighs> yeah, like I really want to buy like a vacuum cleaner, and I want to. I do want to buy like a lot of gadgets. Actually, I want to get like a streaming device so I could connect Netflix to my TV. Uh, okay. And yeah, what else? I want Bluetooth speaker. You should get the robot vacuum. No. I feel like that's not really good. I feel it's good. I don't think it's good. How is it going to go to the little tight spots and like... Yeah, it's like a little circle. It's not going to fit. You just don't stand at the tight spot. Or like what if it goes under your table and messes up all your wires or something? I don't know. It detects the wires and then goes away. Well, then it doesn't clean under the wires. Well, I'm not that lazy to have a little disc vacuum my place for me. I think I'll just do it myself. It's just a suggestion, guys. <laughs> I'm hungry. Oh, Pat, I'm pretty sure there's like five week old food in your fridge. No, there's not. I keep my fridge super clean now. Never mind. Mm. Okay, should we end this then? <laughs> because I'm trying to get my life clean so I can make aesthetic YouTube channel. Yeah. But not just because of that. Like, I've, I've started being really obsessed with keeping it clean mm. since I was <sighs> locked in here all day. I'm polar opposite. I think mm. we've all I mean, really kind of become a... you just see my room right now. Huh? I think when you grow up, you just kind of become obsessed with something. <laughs> like, anything. No, you just need to yeah, cling like, on to your sanity. Yeah, you're obsessed with anime. Yeah, I'm obsessed with anime. Saying is obsessed with, I don't know, philosophy. Trying to be a, a good person. What? I don't know. Wow, you, that's Oh, I'm obsessed with being trying to be a good person. I, I don't know. You, you like... I don't know. You really like philosophy. I don't know. You like... Really um I don't really I don't really. think I sound <laughs> philosophical right now. <laughs> you like philosophy? I don't know, no. I think he does. Just like it's I just like self improvement. I, mean, I like, like that too. I, I do that's good. Like I do diet now, I well not sleep, but uh 
try to work out every day, which is just like normal, get my life together kind of thing. Yeah. Just keep it consistent. <sighs> yeah. You're good. I woke up early one day and I did like yoga and I felt like, oh my gosh, I'm so grown up. And then I did that once and I never did that again. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Yeah. I mean, I like meditation. For, I did meditation for a few weeks, but I just felt like whenever yeah. I got up and tried sitting in the position for five to ten minutes, I just felt like going back to you sleep. You don't have again. to sit. You can you can lie down. That's definitely not going to help as well. <laughs> okay. Always, you can say I've been like meditating for thirty minutes because I wake up at like nine thirty and then I just lay there <laughs> for half an hour <laughs> and then I'm oh, back to work. You should watch Headspace also has a guide to meditation on Netflix. You can watch it and just follow along. Yeah. I mean, it's free. I'll look at it. I was actually, I, I've, I've gotten actually recently uh, invited to Clubhouse, so I've been listening to what oh. you're talking about now. Just like crypto, uh, dating advice, uh Mm. E money stuff like that. That's cool. Mm. Oh yeah, actually, yo, wait. Do you guys know I put money into crypto, right? Yeah. No. Oh, I put like a thousand into it, and I've lost mm. so far. My first week, I think I've lost one forty baht, so it's gone down. Okay. Yeah. It's you have money to invest? It's a thousand baht. Little. <laughs> little. Little. That's like all of my money. I gave you a very hefty birthday present, you know, Hotel. Oh, yes. Yeah. I'm very grateful for that. I'm probably going to use it to pay the internet bill. <laughs> oh. oh. Pat, did you get anything for Hotel? No. Nope. I kind of forgot to get anything. I mean, you don't have to. <laughs> no, I know I don't have to, but I do still want to. Uh, but actually, this month, I've been very, like, low. Uh. Like, on money. So, if, like, I am planning to buy you something, but it'll have to be at least... Well, I feel like we should end the podcast before we... I feel like we should end the podcast before we keep talking more. Otherwise, I think it's going to go uh, more. Uh, Wait, how long first. is it? It's been friggin' uh, two hours and 30 minutes. We Ooh. broke the record. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Pat, was that your plan? No, nah, I didn't no. feel like two I and a half hours. Since Pat came, it's just we had more topics to talk about. And then we just, well, because like, I'm also very talkative. I feel like. Yeah. When we have conversations in real life, I'm always like, blah, 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 blah. Exactly. Blah, blah. Plus, Sang and I have talked about so many things so many times, just like we kind of run out. No, we thing. haven't. Yes, oh, we do. Us. And then we have these it's awkward you, silence. It's you and your awkward silence. Non-vocabulary. We have this awkward silence. We're just like, okay. Um, That's what's because next? <laughs> we've never prepared for podcasts ever. If you've I've, never prepared. <laughs> we've. It's a symbiotic uh, okay. relationship. He prepares something, I prepare something. We did that for like uh, two the times. First one. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah. No, did we even do it for two times? Well, I don't know if you did it. I feel like the second one, I didn't even come up with something. I just started complaining. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then the next time one, you were just complaining again. Uh, okay. Oh well, we should end it here. Um, so, uh, what are the, what are the last words? Huh? <laughs> what are our, our last words? Uh, uh, moral of the story: Internet bad. Uh, don't don't get be involved scared. with kids. Sea kids off their is kids. scary as well as a river. Don't take uh, risks. Don't take risks. 
Uh, this is such bad advice. Uh, don't care. Anything else? Yeah. S- don't good. forget about the shooter at the school. Shoot up schools. Why? Why can't I forget about it? I don't think you should forget about that. <laughs> it's a good okay. story. Watch, your, watch your students closely, Pat. You never know. <laughs> For what? I don't, know. <laughs> I don't know. You can shoot up the They're Zoom like call. They're like five years old. <laughs> hey, I'm pretty sure okay. a five-year-old can shoot up a school. Mm, no, they can't. Nice. Okay, we should actually just <laughs> stop. <laughs> yeah, just, okay, this is yeah. this episode of the broadcast. Um, we will probably have more guests in the future. By guests, it's probably going to be our other siblings. Our guests is your siblings. <laughs> Next up, uh, Tina or something. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. We'll, we'll... The angel's, angel's not going to do it. Squishy's not going to do it. Uh, so it's obviously Tina. Angel can, but probably unlikely. She's not going to. Okay, well, I guess that's it for now. Then, uh, yeah, we'll see you guys next week. So, uh, uh, bye. Links down bye. description. Links in the description. Bye. <laughs>